bigger oh i'm moving the little ghost around <laughs> i'm moving the little ghost around also i feel like i should put away my sword there that that that, that looks cuter it looks cuter <laughs> what is that didn't you see the end of the last stream oh my god did you not see the end of the last stream chad uh where i showed off my ghost protection pillow <laughs> Where showed off the little the little ghost plushy protection pillow. Yeah. It's you, you you can pretend it's you guys. You were sleeping. That's fair. That's fair. You were sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just the it's just the fun Halloween themed asset. And I was like, I'm going to need the pillow to hide behind today. I'm going to need to be able to squish the pillow if I get squared. If I get scared and also then hide behind it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How was my day? My day was good. My day was good. I was a little bit a bit tired today, but I'm sure I'm sure the the horror game. I'm sure Alan Wake 2 is going to wake me right up. Also stop jump scaring me, game! Stop it! Oh my god. Oh my god, I have it up on my second monitor, you know, like usually uh when we're, we're doing a gaming stream and especially when i'm playing on my playstation i will like already have the game up on my second monitor and then i like leave it on the menu screen to wait uh but the menu screen is like it's like an empty office oh my god and then it keeps on like flashing it keeps on like flashing with like the you know the alan wake like the flashes that it does it keeps on doing that randomly and i'm like every time it happens oh my god there's no sound or anything. There's no sound or anything, but it, I just like see it. I see it like going like on the other screen, and I'm like, no, no, they're doing it. Stop it. Oh 
my god. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like already getting jump scared by this. It's like, why? Why? <laughs> you're, you're sick and took the day off. So you're happy to hear that I'm going to get some jump scares. Oh my god, hope you feel better soon, Moose. <laughs> yeah, Alan Wake has no mercy. There's like not even mercy in the... Oh god! In the menu screen. It's not even mercy in the menu screen. <laughs> so if I if I suddenly go like, oh my god, that's like because I get jump scared by the by the menu screen that's like on my other monitor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's Erica laughing. Stop, 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 stop. It keeps on doing it. <laughs> I got jump scared even though I'm not playing yet. Never have you seen something like this. This is why I need the pillow, okay? This is why I need the pillow to protect me. Uh, because... Because of the jump scares. Because of, like, literally all the, all the jump scares. <laughs> yeah. Can I... Can I stop this? If I press X to continue. Oh, maybe... Maybe this stops it. I think maybe this stops it. Okay, I might have been able to stop it. I, like, progressed in the menu. Till, like, the... Where it says, like, continue, load, new game. And hopefully that will stop the jump scares. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah, yeah, but how are you doing, everyone? Are you having a happy Halloween? Oh. It did not stop the jump scares. No, no. It's still doing it. <laughs> oh my god, it's still doing it. Alan Wake was like, no, 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 you're not escaping this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never seen a pillow be both happy and scared at the same time. Yeah, the pillow is also scared of the jump scares. <laughs> okay, it might be doing it less often right now. Okay, that, that's good though. If it's doing it less often, that, that that's a good thing. <laughs> you're doing good. You're having a little boring Halloween so far. Mm, that's fair. That's fair. I haven't had any trick or treaters, and I don't think I'm going to have any either because like the 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 entrance to my tiger cave is actually pretty hard to find, and, and even like even like the mail delivery people often have to like call me and be like, "Yeah, how do I get to your tiger cave?" And I'm like, "Yeah, the the entrance the the, the entrance to the apartment is hidden." The apartment entrance is hidden. <laughs> um, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I was a collab yesterday. Oh, yeah. Technically, the collab was like today. Technically, it was today. It was like 17 hours ago. It started like 1 a.m. my time. Which is like technically also Halloween. It's very fitting since it was like a, a, a witch and hunter game but it, it was a lot of fun i had a lot of fun on the collab yeah it, it was chaos and it was shenanigans <laughs> i love the i love uh, being like the witch because you could turn into all the different items kind of like in improv pent yeah trick-or-treaters are coming tonight you gotta turn off all the lights and pretend you're not home oh my god oh oh the alert i muted them for the collab let me let me resend that alert i'll re-roll it so you get the to get a Texas beach. <laughs> the collab was hilarious. Yeah, I love Some turning it. In. There we go. There we go. <laughs> scared Erica squeaks tax. A scared Erica tax. You know, I'll... Stop, stop it. Stop it, game. I'm not even playing you yet, game. Stop it. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I will take those coins. I will take those coins because I'm going to be very scared tonight. And <laughs> don't arigato. Thank you for the coins. Yeah. Prop hunt, a classic of messing with the hunter. Yeah, I love turning into big items and just like chasing after the hunter and then trying to turn into small items. It backfired quite a bit, but sometimes it worked out as well. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it worked out. Cute hands, yeah! It's my pillow today, my pillow. <laughs> I gotta I gotta hug the pillow for safety. Come on, come on. Yeah, you woke up a little earlier than usual and you only got to see the final minutes of the collab. Mm, but I hope you had a, hope you had a good time with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, trick-or-treaters. I, I remember trick-or-treating when I was younger and that was a lot of fun. Getting candy. Yeah, the candy. All the candy. Wah, wah. 
<laughs> mm, bare, bare arms? No, it's just, it's just my arms. It's just bare arms. It's just like arms and fingers. You, you, you. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> trick or treating was fun when you were a kid. Yeah, I love dressing up and going out trick or treating and getting all the candy and then eating all the candy in a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's a plushie. Is Blink just now? It, it's it's an alive plushie. The plushie is also alive. Nikki, boo, boo, super chat. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Those are tiger arms, not bear arms. No, they are like... It, they don't have any clothes. I, I know you know what I mean, Dad. I know you know what I mean. I know that you know that I know that you know that I... I know that... You, you know that... I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> Man, happy Halloween. Hi, hi. Yeah, hi, hi. Everyone dropping in. Hi, hi. Oh, wait. Tinsy great chicken grabs. Never was. Hi, hi. Yeah. Bear or bear... Bear or bear? Bear arms, but not bear arms. But bear arms. But also not bear arms, because I'm not a bear. <laughs> I'm not a kuma. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Which Pokemon plushie am I holding at the moment? The only Pokemon plushie I have nearby. Now I just I just leaned over and grabbed it. Right now I'm hugging the Snorlax plushie. So if I need to hug the IRL plushie, I have the, the big chonky Snorlax plushie. The big and chonky, the even bigger and chonkier. Uh, people of plushy lives on my couch. <laughs> yeah, Sunga, hi hi, hi hi. <laughs> um, um, uh. And Scotty, hi hi. You saw that I was streaming Alan Wake too, and you tried to catch my first stream, but you missed it. Hope you're ready. Hope I'm ready for what comes in the next chapter. Oh, I hope so. Also, I'm going to be reading uh, the Alan Wake wiki. Let me find it. I'm not going to read like this, like the the summary of the first game because. Tell him hi hi. Do you have any plushie? Yeah, plushie. <laughs> Alan Wake Wikipedia summary. Because before the last stream, I actually hadn't read read the plot summary of the first game. So I was just like trying to figure Some out stuff on my you. own. Mm -hmm. But but after after the last stream, I went and read like the Wikipedia plot summary of Alan Wake 1, and I was like this makes like a thousand percent more sense now. <laughs> it, it made a lot more sense uh, after I read like the summary. <laughs> so I think I was like, we're going to read it together. Uh, so that all of you that haven't played the first game or hasn't seen like a playthrough of the first game, you'll also get a sense of the story. Uh, and I'll also read the summary from the Control, uh, control DLC. That's like directly related to Alan Wake too as well. Yeah, yeah. Two hundred pages? No, there's like, there's like three pages worth of a summary. A lore dump? Yeah, I'm just going to be re re reading the lore. This is like literally from like the Wikipedia Alan Wake page. Yeah. Story time. Story time. It's this is stalling with extra steps. No, no, no. This is this is knowledge for the investigation. This is knowledge for the investigation in the game, so you guys can like help me investigate. Yeah. Smart way to stall. No, I'm not stalling, Chad. I promise. I promise. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me let me read. Let me read. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so. Alan Wake. Alan Wake is a best-selling crime fiction author suffering from a two-year stretch of writer's block. So that was like, that was like, I guess like the opening, the opening premise for the first game is that like Alan Wake is a writer, but also he can't write. <laughs> also, he can't write anymore because he has writer's, uh, writer's block. Author? Yeah, author. He's an, uh, an author. Author? Author. Uh, you, you get what I mean, <laughs> you get what I mean, Chad? As long as you get what I mean, crime fiction author. <laughs> Chad, you, you get what I mean. <laughs> Straight Blackmore, hi hi. Anyone else dropping in, hi hi. Why is the ghost blushing? Uh, because you're getting squished. Yes. <laughs> okay, so 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 okay. So Alan Alan Wake has writer's block. Oh, what's writer's block? Uh, writer's blocks. That's like usually what is called uh, when someone who's like trying to write just can't. Like, you, you you just can't, can't. Like, you you can't write. Authors are way cooler than authors. 
Mm, both of them are otters, though. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like it's just like a way of saying like somehow like you're you're, you're not able to write like yeah like like not not with your hands but like your head like you have like a mental block against writing. <laughs> Baba, hi hi, simple duck, hi hi. Okay, so he so he has writer's block. I've said this like five times now. Maybe <laughs> is this stalling? Is this stalling? We just talking about Alan Wake having writer's block, and then, then we're not we're not going to be playing the game because I'm just going to be repeating this like one line in like ten different ways. <laughs> oh yeah, this might take an hour. <laughs> Kevin, hi hi. Okay, so 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 Alan Wake, um. He and his wife Alice travel to a small mountain town of Bright Falls, Washington. So yeah, yeah. So so Alan in, in the first game, Alan Wake traveled with his wife to like the town where the second game is also happening. <laughs> uh, for a short vacation at the advice of their friend and agent Barry Wheeler. So three characters so far: Alan Wake, his wife, uh, Barry Wheel Wheeler. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, before arriving, Alan has a nightmare about shadowy figures who try to kill him. Uh, when an ethereal figure in a dri diving suit intervenes in the dream and teaches him how to use a light to fend off the shadows. So I guess this is a mechanic even from the first game that you use like light to... <coughs> Got my voice. That you use light to fend off the shadow creatures. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then, okay, uh, upon arrival in Bright Falls, Alan goes to the diner to uh, goes to a diner to retrieve the keys to their cabin from Carl Stuckey, the landlord. But instead, encounters a mysterious old woman who tells him that Stuckey had fallen ill and she was entrusted to give Alan the keys. <laughs> the woman directs the couple to a cabin on the island in the middle of Cauldron Lake, a volcanic uh, crater lake, where Alan experiences a vision of a woman. So like that's a that's a lake that was like draining in what we did in the last uh, last stream. Yeah. Uh, as they unpack, Alice reveals that the real purpose of their trip is to help break his writer's block by arranging for him to see a famous Bright Falls psychologist uh, named Dr. Emil Hartman. Hartman. Yeah, yeah. So they, they weren't really going there on vacation. Uh, they were going there so he could see a psychologist and try and get over his writer's block. Come on, on. Yeah. Uh, Alan is infuriated and storms out only to rush back and hear Alice crying for help. He returns just as Alice is dragged into the lake uh, by a mysterious force. Uh, Alan dives in after her, blacking out as she submerged. So already, already creepy stuff was happening very quickly in the last game, apparently. <laughs> just like the second game, yeah. Uh, after yet another hallucination of the old woman, Alan regains consciousness. Apparently having driven his car off the road with no memory of how he got there. So I was like, when I was reading this, like the first time, I was like, wait, he fell in the lake? And then he drove his car off the road? Ha! Huh. So, 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 yeah, the, the, the game, the stuff was happening. Stuff was happening in the first game. <laughs> yeah, bye bye! Uh, he attempts to reach a nearby gas station, and the progress is hampered by murderous shadowy figures resembling those in his dream. Uh, while fighting the shadows with light, Alan repeatedly encounters an ethereal figure in a diving suit, uh, similar to the one from his dream. He leaves behind pages of manuscript entitled Departure. So the manuscript pages was also a thing for from the first game. Yeah. <laughs> Will you get cute Erica screams today? Uh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> uh, and, and that manuscript was ostensibly written by Alan. He has no memory of writing. Uh, he soon discovers that the events of the manuscripts are coming true and that the shadowy figures named Taken are townsfolk possessed by a dark force. After killing a possessed Carl Stuckey and reaching the gas station, uh, Alan tries to alert Sheriff Sarah Breaker of his wife's disappearance, but Sheriff Breaker states that there has been no island or cabin in Cauldron Lake for decades after it sank in a volcanic eruption. Yeah. So apparently the cabin that they've been to in like they didn't even exist. <laughs> so so even more even more weird stuff. <laughs> John Job, hi hi. Yeah. 
Uh, and Sheriff, uh, Sheriff Breaker believes Alan is mentally unwell and takes him to the police station. Uh, meanwhile, Barry arrives in Bright Falls in search of Alan. And Barry, I think Barry was like his agent. Yeah, his friend and his agent. Mm. Uh, at the police station, Alan lies to hide the hallucination he's been experiencing. He receives a call from a man purporting to be Alice's kidnapper, demanding the pages of departure in exchange for her. And that was like the mysterious manuscript that Alan didn't remember writing, but was apparently written by him. Uh, and Emil Hartman, oh, this is the psychologist, uh, appears at the station to invite Alan to, to stay at his psychiatric hospital. Uh, Cauldron Lake Lodge. Alan punches Hartman as a response. You know, there's a very, a very reasonable response. Just, you know, a punch to the face or something. <laughs> Alan meets the kidnapper, Maud, at a nearby national park. He demands pages of departure as ransom. Uh, the two fight before Maud uh, runs, off, <laughs> runs off into the night. Yeah. <laughs> You're enjoying this reading stream? We should do this more often. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Alan and Barry attempt to retrieve more pages and attract the attention of FBI agent Robert Nightingale. And if that name sounds familiar, uh, that was the zombie uh, taken shadow creature that we fought in the last stream. That was like literally this FBI agent. <laughs> yeah, Millennium Miami. Uh, Alan leaves Barry behind and flees Nightingale, who chases him through the forest unsuccessfully. He meets Maud again, this is like the, the kidnapper of his wife, uh, to deliver the pages. As he arrives at the location, he witnesses Maud being tortured by the mysterious old woman, confessing that he never actually had Alice. Alan and Maud are attacked by a dark tornado. Yeah, Tornado, you heard that right, chat. Tornado that hurls Alan into Cauldron Lake. I was like, this first game sounds like a real trip. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he awakens in the lodge overlooking Cauldron Lake under the care of Hartman, this is the psychologist, who claims Alan is experiencing a psychotic break triggered by Alice drowning. He claims the supernatural phenomenon Alan has been experiencing were all fabrications of his imagination. Alan attempts to escape the lodge as a shadowy force starts to attack. Uh, learning in the process that the fake kidnapper was employed by Hartman to lure Alan to him. So yeah, yeah more shenanigans here. Oh, kitty cat. Where are you? Kitty cat? Kitty cat's so cool. <laughs> I just heard one of my cats meow. Oh, there you are. I was like, where were you? <laughs> I was like, I'm not hearing things now. This is not like Halloween starting to come for me. No, no. He came, I came out from under the couch. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> I, th I think he just woke up. I think he was sleeping. I think he was sleeping and then he just woke up. <laughs> and he was probably looking for me. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, hi. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, uh, the psychologist basically like tries to do a lot of things to kidnap him, I guess. Uh, so Hartman tries to stop Alan from escaping and gives the impression that he's aware of the supernatural events surrounding the lake. Uh, Barry helps Alan escape the lodge before the shadow subsumes it and all those inside. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, and Coyote, hi hi. A phantom, hi hi. <laughs> uh, Alan and Barry gradually begin to learn the truth about Cauldron Lake from the other townsfolk. And this is, this is like the really important part. Uh, this is where like a lot of things started to make sense uh, to me about like the, the Alan Wake 2 that we're currently playing. Uh, because th this is where they talk about like the big evil. An entity, entity known as the Dark Presence is trapped within the lake, attempting to escape by using the lake's power to turn fiction into reality. So this is like basically, I think the big bad thing we're fighting in Alan Wake 2 as well. Like this is what's creating the darkness. This is what's like making weird stuff happen. It's an entity known as the Dark Presence. And it's like using lake powers to turn fiction into reality. And that's probably why it's using the manuscript. It had previously tried this with a poet, 
a poet named Thomas Zane, uh, who's the mysterious figure in the diving suit, by taking the form of his spouse drowned in the lake, Barbara Jagger, the old woman who Alan had encountered. Uh, Zane was able to resist its will and used his writing to cause the volcanic eruption that sank the island, stranding himself within the lake. Uh, the dark presence has grown strong enough to start influencing the townsfolk and create uh, create the force that has pursued Alan. Yeah, yeah, weaponized imagination. Yeah, that's basically it. Boys, hi hi, Bresnak, hi hi, everyone dropping in, hi hi. Mm -hmm. uh, the <laughs> God, I was about to cough. <laughs> Rabbit, hi hi. Ah, water, water. Uh, the Dark Presence has grown strong enough to st Oh, yeah, I read that. Uh, that night, as Alan and Barry take shelter, they get drunk on moonshine. Why? I was like, why? 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 They're being chased by zombies. Alan's wife have been kidnapped. Uh, there's a psychologist that wants to, like, kidnap him. There, there's a lot. Why? Why, at that point, did they decide to get drunk? <laughs> why? Except late. Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. And Alan recalls memories of being forced to write Departure during the prior week. He realized that the Dark Presence is trying to use his writings to escape, holding Alice in the lake as to coerce him. Yeah, so like, apparently the Dark Presence like forced Alan to write a book and is trying to like turn it into reality to escape. <laughs> I don't think I wouldn't understand. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, let's see, let's see. Uh, Ellen and Barry are arrested by Robert Nightingale, uh, the FBI agent, uh, but the Taken assault the police station and drag Nightingale away. Sheriff Breaker, now convinced that the Dark Presence exists, help Ellen Barry to reach Cynthia Weaver, a hermit, uh, a hermit new Thomas Zane, and prepared con countermeasures measure for the Dark Presence's return. Uh, Weaver leads them to the well-lit room containing a light switch known as the clicker. Oh, and this this was like, I was like wondering why I think Nightingale, like the zombie in Alan Wake 2, was like running around like going like show me the clicker and stuff like that. I was like, what is the clicker? And now it makes sense. So apparently like the clicker is something that can like hurt the Dark Presence, I think. I think. Maybe. <laughs> uh... A light switch known as a clicker, which through the power of Alan's writings, uh, possessed the narrative ability to destroy the Dark Presence. Alan returns to Cauldron Lake alone and dives in, finding himself in a surreal alternate dimension known as the Dark Place, uh, where thoughts and ideas become reality. Alan encounters Jagger and destroys her with a clicker. Realizing he must uh, maintain balance in the story, Alan completes departure by freeing Alice, but strands himself in the dark place in the process. Finishing departure, Alan writes the final line, It's not a lake, it's an ocean. Yeah, so that was like the end of the first game, but there was two DLCs. Yeah. <laughs> When Erica read that piece of info, it clicked in her head. Yeah, with the clicker. <laughs> Wondering how nice they'll see around. So that was, that was like, this was the first game. Uh, it, it was a trip. Uh, and then it's also... It's also like two special episodes. Uh, the first special episodes. Um, This one, should, should, I read, should I read the special episodes as well, Chad? What exactly is the critical here? It's like a light switch with the powers to hurt the dark presence. That that's everything we need to know. Didn't know hi hi, how am I? I'm doing good. We're just trying to make sense of the Alan Wake 1 story before we start playing Alan Wake 2 today. And this is not totally me procrastinating, so I have to play the game less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, chat, do you do you want me to read the special episodes uh before we start the game? Or should, should I just start? Hmm. It, it reveals more lore. It re we're just stalling? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, well, I should go for it. Okay, 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 okay. Totally not stalling. Totally, totally. <laughs> So, uh, continuing from the end of the main game, Alan finds himself in a surreal version of Bright Falls and realizes he's still trapped in the dark place. 
as Zayn directs Alan to follow a signal through a cell phone in order to focus and guide him through the dark place. While navigating the realm's shifting dreamlike topography, Alan encounters television screens depicting a more man mani maniacal? maniacal version of himself. He uses the power of the dark place to narrate circumstances that plunge Alan into danger, sending hordes of Taken after it. Alan also encounters an ethereal version of Barry, a figment of his consciousness, who helps guide Alan safely through the abstract landscape. Demon Fruit, hi hi! Yeah, hi hi everyone dropping in. <laughs> Zane eventually reveals that Alan himself is the cause of his current circumstances. The maniacal version of Alan on the television screen is an irrational aspect of Alan consumed by fear, his frenzied thoughts affecting the subjective world of the dark place. Alan encounters a, a monstrous conglomerate of televisions. Yeah, televisions, the real, the real horror creature. Uh, through which the irrational Alan tries to kill him. Alan defeats the televisions, but wakes up back in the cabin again and realizes he's still trapped. And that was the end of the first special. Yeah. <laughs> so he fought, he fought like a crazy version of himself. That was like gaining, I guess, gaining control from being in the dark place, which can make fiction... We can make fiction reality. Yeah, Belinda, hi hi! Yeah, yeah. And then the second special, still trapped in the dark place, uh, Alan regains consciousness and accepts that he is the cause of the insanity he's experiencing, regaining his memories in the process. As uh, Zayn tells him that the irrational Alan is still inside the cabin, controlling the dark place. The rational Alan must regain control in order to have any chance of escaping the dark place. As Zane directs Alan to a lighthouse across the increasingly surreal landscape of the dark place. While the irrational Alan, oh god, this is so many Alans, this is like Alans everywhere, <laughs> attempts to stop him by create, creating the illusions of Alice, manipulating the landscape and sending armies of Taken after him. Alan eventually outwits his other self and reaches the lighthouse, passing through it to reach the cabin. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Michael, hi, hi. As Alan nears the cabin, the imaginary Barry reappears and tells Alan that he will have to reject all the illusions before he can face off against the insane version of Alan, including the apparition of Barry. Alan is forced to confront taken versions of Barry and other townsfolk, defeating them all and re-entering the cabin. The irrational Alan is in a paranoid state of the <laughs> on the cabin floor. When Alan touches him, the two are made whole again. Kind of like Devil May Cry with Virgil. Probably. <laughs> Alan realizes that he can't let himself fall into a delusional state against the f again for fear of never being able to escape, and returns to the typewriter to type a new story. Return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lodo, hi, hi. Nikkin, hi, hi. So that was that was like the entirety of Alan Wake, but then we also have Control, a 2019 video game. I'm not reading the entire plot of Control, but Control had like a special like DLC, I think, called AWE. Uh, and AWE was a crossover between Control and Remedy Entertainment's previous title, Alan Wake. Yeah. So it's like uh, it ties into it ties into like Alan Wake 2. Yeah, so I'll, I'll read this as well. Totally, totally not further procrastinating. We're just learning. We're learning knowledge together. Yeah, 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 yeah. My three man. Hi, hi. Genki, Genki. Yes, I am Genki. <laughs> humble, humble. Um, yeah. So, uh, Alan Wake takes place in Bright Falls, Washington. In the game, Alan uh, Wake finds himself coerced and trapped by the dark presence that inhabit Bright Falls Cauldron Lake, able to turn his writings into reality. Following, following the events of Alan Wake, as described in Control, Emil Hartman, a psychologist who attempted to investigate and exploit this power, was confronted and arrested by agents of the FBC. Yeah, and the FBC, we did hear about, like, they had, like, the control station, like, the monitoring station. Uh, FBC was, like, the things that had the monitoring station in Alan Wake 2. Yeah, S-tier stall tactics, no, 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 learning. Learning, learning. I'm um, <laughs> yeah. So FBC confiscated all of Emil Hartman's research on the lake. 
uh, in a final act of desperation, Hartman dove into Cauldron Lake uh, and was possessed by the Dark Presence. Hartman subsequently uh, was captured and brought to the oldest house by the Bureau, uh, who attempted to contain him in the investigation sector. However, after Hartman breached containment, the Bureau was forced to completely abandon the, the sector. Uh, and during the His invasion, which I have no idea what the His invasion is, uh, the His mixed the, with the dark presence in Hartman, twisting him into a monstrous entity which haunts the section. <laughs> Yeah, we're just getting caught up on the story. Well, bye bye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Jesse, this must be like the, I guess, the control protagonist, maybe? Uh, Jesse is summoned to the investigation sector by an apparition of Alan Wake, who otherwise was considered missing after the events of Alan Wake, which that's also the name of the game. <laughs> As Jesse attempts to restore the investigation sector and destroy Hartman, she learns from Alan that he was responsible for unleashing Hartman, using his power to rewrite, re uh, rewrite reality using work, uh, works of fiction. Alan implies that he was responsible for the his invasion uh, as to create a crisis for his hero Jesse, for unknown reasons. Yes, very unknown reasons. Jesse re uh, reaches the Bright Falls AWE area of the investigation sector and destroys Hartman. She is informed by FBC agents of a newly detected AVE, uh, AWE in Bright Falls at a date of which is several years in the future, which I think is like alluding to Alan Wake 2. And that... Oh, that was all the plot I had to read! <laughs> Shallow XL, Malgren, hi hi! <laughs> That was all the plot I had to read, oh my god! No! I ran out of plot. No. No! It's, it's time. Is it time, chat? Is it, is it time? I come stalling in my... No! Marcus, I had... There must be more. Another wiki? No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I gotta take off my glasses. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me just go down in the corner here. My safety pillow. Here we go. <laughs> so it was a stall. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, chat. I said we weren't stalling. No, we're learning and also stalling. <laughs> Learning and also stalling. Okay, okay. <laughs> Danny, hi, hi. Okay, continue. Did we just start? Oh, I think we just start. Do I even remember the controls? I don't know. I don't know. Says did I? I? <laughs> oh, we're in the <gasps> we're in the safe cabin. Yeah, I remember. We went in here. Okay, I can't test out the shooting. I think sh shooting was like. R2. And then I think... Oh, I just used the battery. Okay, that was R R1. R1, I just used one of my batteries. Uh, that was like the light attack. <laughs> and then I think this, yeah. L1 is like the dodge. Do we have... What's circle? Oh, circle is flashlight. Circle is flashlight. Oh, what is this? Oh! <gasps> Bullets! Bullets! Yeah! Egg is home. Is there more bullets in here? Reload the save for battery recovery. And I was just again. one. Oh, oh, I mean, thank you for the kill fun. Happy Halloween. Six Happy months Halloween. and 21k, Erica. Oh my god. Here's the caramel fudge, <laughs> extra bullets, and your brave pills. Extra bullets, please. Yeah, the extra bullets. I need the extra bullets also. That was a chicken jump scare! Oh my god! <laughs> Radio Night! Dono arigato! Thank you for the coins! <laughs> it's already starting! It's already starting! Let me... Let me go into... Okay, this is... That was... Oh, that was handgun ammo! Okay, let me switch over to the handgun. The shotgun is very powerful. I'm gonna save, save that one a little bit. <laughs> so what do we have? Okay, we have a pistol. We have a sawed-off shotgun. A battery pack. Two trauma pads. Shotgun ammo, we have three. A handful ear. A propane tank, which is very safe. And then a trauma pad. Oh, we have three trauma pads. Okay, we have three of them. 
That's nice. We don't have any pain pills anymore, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. A successful chicken gacha, yeah. It was successful. Yeah, and everyone dropping in. Hi, hi. Border, hi, hi. And Nari, hi, hi. Fervid, hi, hi. Hey, <laughs> Radio Night, hi, hi. <gasps> Your pillow. Yeah, the pillow is so cute. <laughs> the pillow is so cute. Also, what am I even doing? What is that? Oh, didn't I have an objective checking button? Where's the button that checks the objective? Oh, wait. We also have this. Goals. Investigate the previously flooded area. I think I did that. Hmm. And then the, take the car back to Bright Falls. Oh, we're taking the car back. So the car is probably... Oh, no. Look how far it is to the car. Oh, we're going to have to go like all the way down here because we're here at the witch's hut. We're going to have to go all the way down, all the way up here. And then all the way around, I think, like, this way, and then... Or is this a shortcut we can take? No, I don't know. We're going to have to get to the parking lot somehow. I look cute to the plushie, thank you! Nightcat! Dragonfly, hi hi! I got a little bit of a nightmare after the last time you played, but it surely will be fine. <laughs> it needs to do hi hi! Hi hi everyone. Okay, car time. I'm scared to go out of this place. Let me just quick save. I'm scared to go out. Oh, it's so... Got the music intensify. <laughs> <laughs> the music intensifies when I go outside, chat. <laughs> Can I explore the flooded area yet? I think I did. I think I did explore... Oh. I think I did explore the previously flooded area. Yeah, like the area. I, I, yeah, this this lake shore. I explored that. Or wait, is this the previously flooded area? Is it this? Chat is is it this thing I'm supposed to explore? Because I haven't, I haven't gone here. Should should we go here? Witchfinder Station, private cabin. It's the dark area. Oh no, <laughs> it's the dark area. <gasps> Did we go here, chat? I thought it was just the lake shore. Oh, this it's one of our optional goals, though. <sighs> and I want to investigate. What if there's clues there? Hello, bye bye. Follow you into the dark. We've got some new music. Adventure Taurus. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 go Oh, no. Let me just double check that I don't I don't have anything on it. Wait, wait, wait. What's the prompt? Oh, we have a clue. Case closed. <gasps> Case closed. Nightingale goes missing for thirteen yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. There's a lot of stuff in the dark area. Never okay. Stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing. Yeah, for Alan Wake turned season. up. What's the connection? Hmm. What kind of case is this? It's a supernatural case. <laughs> it's a supernatural case. There we go. I think it turns red when it's solved. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Three years ago. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay, to the to the dark place we go. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to be so bad though. I'm I'm scared, chat. <laughs> This isn't your average everyday darkness. This is advanced darkness. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We go this way now? Rip your ears? Yeah. Your, your ears might be destroyed by the screaming. This, this, will, oh, this will be fine. <laughs> this, this will be fine. Oh, this is where we met the wolf. So there can be wolves here as well. There can be wolves. Where did... Oh, can you... How oh, the light change? Oh, wait, wait, this is light. This is safe. That's a dare. Be eaten by the wolf. The sound design is so scary. I guess that means it's good to sound design, but it's scary spooky. Let's see if there's any items. Item? Oh, there might be items there. That looks like items. 
Captain Hi Hi! Oh, there's an item box here. It has the cult symbol though. It has the cult symbol. I I'm scared. That might mean the scary the scary hunters are here. The deer hunters. That they don't hunt deers, they hunt people. <sighs> I heard a sound. Is that me? Is that me that made the sound? Items? <gasps> Item. 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 <gasps> Bullets! Batteries! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's very safe. This, this glowing arrow. <laughs> this glowing arrow in the middle of the forest. That feels very safe. Oh, what's that? Is that a manuscript page? Hey, Casey. <gasps> what's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Casey? One case without the a triangle. A triangle? Yes, you do. A triangle. <laughs> oh, it's because of these triangles. <laughs> triangle. Not a trap. Yeah, the ar arrow there is totally not a trap, chat. It's totally not a trap. Just look if they hit something here. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's multiple arrows. Nice. Nice. Just give me the contents of this box. <gasps> the bullets? Bullets? Yeah, shotgun shells. Nicely, nicely. Ah, I want to go back and save you. <laughs> Let me just check the map. I don't think the game pauses while we're in the map area. <gasps> ta -da -ta -da. <laughs> ta -da -ta -da. Ravioli, hi hi. Hi hi. Let's investigate the forest. Just checking that the forest is safe. Is this safe? Is the forest safe? Oh, I'm going on the pathway! I'm going on the pathway! Pathway scary! Pathway scary. You're a coward? Oh my god. There's nothing wrong with being easily scared. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Look. Nice and nice. Wonder what's inside. Wait, do I need a key? I take a look around for a way to open this thing. Oh, I need a key. I need a key. Cult necklace. Shortcut key. Okay, we need, we need to find a key. Somewhere around here, there has to be a key. Hmm... Why am I getting so much a ammo, you wonder? Totally because of safe reasons. All the safe reasons to get ammo. Yeah. I need a light bulb key, maybe. Maybe the key is like next to the... to the light? Somehow? randomly go out please come back light i love you i love you my precious light <laughs> the pathway is scary me going off the pathway is waste it's a wolf it's a wolf oh my god hello it's behind the tree There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh my god, they're so quick. Oh, oh my god, I think it's... Light came back. Light came back. Oh my god, wolf doko. Wolf doko. Ah, there it is, there it is. I think I got him. I think I got him. Ah! The wolves are so scary. Also, I, I need I need to heal. Oh, don't be scared. I'm very tiger, but but that's a that's a very brave, that's a very very brave wolf. I wonder if like me staying in the forest too long makes the wolf spawn. I really hope not, but it might. <sighs> Blue Destiny, hi hi! Just dropping by before you sleep. Oh, this is the... This is the witch's ladle. We interacted with that before, that's scary. Ah. Creepy music! Up 
Ba -ba -ba -ba. I hope you get some good sleep, Blue Destiny. Also, why do I not have my flashlight out? Ooh. Okay, the... These things are pointing me in this direction. What is over here? That's like a dead end on the map. Which is Cauldron Lake. There's nothing that goes here except for all these arrows! <laughs> Axel, hi, hi. The game doesn't spontaneously spawn enemies, but it does have certain ambush points. Okay, okay. That's good to know that it wants like continuously spawn it. Oh, oh it's a key! It's the stash key for the for the stash. Is there anything here? Was was that the arrows? Oh no, wait, wait, wait! That was probably... Yeah, the light. The stash had like a light symbol on it. So it's like you have to shine the light on the on the things to see where the key is. Okay, okay. That, that was the same. That was actually a good thing. Uh, where's the stash though? Oh, I find, found it. Yeah, that's why there's an arrow right over this. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, stream side stash key. There is a... The cult is watching right now? Uh, okay. That, that's nice to know. Thank you for the shotgun shell and the bullets. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And then we proceed. Then we proceed on the road. You are watching? No, you're not part of the cult, right, Chad? You're you're my safety. You're my safety, Chad. You're my emotional support, Chad. Let's safe to look at the map again. Oh, we can head... If we head over to the left... We can head down on the beach. The right is more investigating left. Let me see if this ties up to the beach. Who knows? Maybe you are the cult. No! Please don't say you're the cult. <gasps> this is the manuscript page. Today's catch. A yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Someone was just going fishing! Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> you're the cult of Polonite? That's figured, that's figured. <laughs> yeah. You, you always be able to support me nice and nicely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, saw an out of towner walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or telescope or something. Taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need attention. Today's catch: just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies hanging, roaming around again. Avoided them as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman, not even the fish. I wonder if the creepies were the cult people. Hmm. I guess you can't go over there. Just a fisherman's hideout. Hi, sir. Hi, hi. Ah! Is that a light over there? Might be a safe spot over somewhere. Map? Map? Okay, so how big is this flooded area? How big is it? We have a... We have a park table. So we have a park table coming up. A little gap. It seems, seems like maybe we can like walk at least in big parts of this. A private cabin. Something that goes down to a river. And a witchfinder station and the stream side. <laughs> okay, okay, this will be safe. You can hear the, the river. This would be so peaceful if it wasn't for like all the darkness and the cultists and the wolves and everything. Oh, this is Cauldron Lake stream site. Everything trying to kill us. Except for all of that, this place would be nice. Oh, what is this? Someone was filming? Someone filming something here? Oh god, I just saw something move in the side of my vision and it was like the cat in my cat tree next to the desk just leaned over and looked at me and then looked back. Hello kitty cat, I hope you're sleeping well. <laughs> ah! It's trying to eat my finger! <laughs> 
I used I used my I reached out my hand and used my finger to like touch his paw, and he tried to grab it. It was like, give me, give me. <laughs> yeah, they're such they're so cuties. There's something written here. Oh, written here. A poem. Or a riddle. Oh, this one I'm gonna have to do this for. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Interesting. Nursery rhymes. I have a half-eaten apple. This camera thingy. Finger off, hi, hi, what happened to the reading? I mean, we're still reading. Oh, are these FBI files? No. Oh, Federal Bureau of Control. This is Federal Bu Bureau of Control files. A little clothespin doll. A little doll? Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Are you giving something from this place to your daughter? Wow. Wow, Saga. <laughs> I think it's funny that we can't even look at this folder. Seems like something she would want to investigate. <laughs> can't touch these things. Can't open that folder either. <laughs> I guess... Did we go into... Let me see if we can, like, put that into a case. Oh, cold stashes. We can... We can put up this. Why was that all the way down in the corner? <laughs> Cauldron Lake area, there we go. And then we have nursery rhymes. Oh, we have a new thingy. I don't know. Nursery rhymes. Nope. Nursery rhymes, there we go. Nice! Creepy dolls. Mm -hmm. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Yeah, true, true. There's a lot of weird. Oh, wow, that's a lot of nursery rhymes. That a little doll. I think we put that here. Angel dolls? Question mark. Sure. Whoa! There has to be a lot of these collectibles. Wow! Look at that! So many. Where is Alan Wake? He is with Casey right now. Wait, was that a Cauldron Lake nursery rhyme? Or was it like who made these? Ah, there it is. What are these? Who made them? Ooh. My cat is precious. Yeah. I might be a little bit biased, but I think my cats are cuties. <laughs> oh, wait. We also found a new page. We also found a new page. Uh, manuscript page. Saga burns away the dark substance. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange dark substance. The same substance Nightgale had left at the morgue. Yeah, 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 the darkness. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. Mm. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Dark spots? <laughs> Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging mm. up her arm. Ooh. Saga squeezed the flashlight. Creepy. Willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Burn away. Just burn away the darkness. Is Alan the oh, owl? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. I guess we progress. I don't want to go further into this area, but I guess we have to. <laughs> or else we wouldn't have found these investigating things. Where am I supposed to go here? Oh, this is like splits up into two sides. Owl, owl and wake. Yeah, this owl. He's, he's an owl now. He's not a writer anymore. Oh god. It's an owl. Like the shadows moving because we're shining the light. That's also kind of creepy. Alan is an otter from what you remember in the lore. Yeah, surely he's an otter. Oh, streamside stash key? No! I want to open this. Ah! Camping, do's and don't. Okay, so you gotta find another key. Another key. This is the down path. Right? Left? Oh no, we're here now. Oh, private cabin. Okay, so this should be the way to the private cabin? Question mark? Is it not? No, I guess we can't go that way. I guess we have to go like 
up and around. Oh. Which finder station to the left? And then we have something else to the right. Live walk in. Hi, hi. Scary. Poopy scary. <laughs> Did I look at the Into the Lore of Alan Wake 1 and Control? Yeah, I read it at the start of stream. I spent half an hour reading it for you guys. <laughs> totally for you guys. From Alaska to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and all the way to California, the Pacific Northwest area spawns over a diverse range. Here you will find 59 threatened or endangered species of plants and animals. Including the mighty orca! <gasps> the cutie orca! Orcas are cute. And the wild gray wolves. The Pacific Northwest uh, region ecosystems are wonderfully diverse. They include mountainous uh, areas like the Cascades and Olympic Ranges, as well as the dense forests around them. In the west, there are several islands and dry desert plateaus that co cover the east. Some of the common wildlife calling at the Pacific Northwest their home are robins and seagulls, squirrels and otters! Yeah, otters! Cougars, deers, coyotes, and raccoons, salmon, and blue herons. The marshes and ponds of this area host an impressive variety of fauna, but majestic trees like the black cottonwood, big leaf maple, and Oregon ash thrive in the north in the wetlands too. It's truly a nature's lover's paradise. Yay. Yeah. All my glasses, I should have put on my glasses there. You're right, you're right. Let's leave the witchfinder stations for last. Brah! Oh no, it's it also needs the key. It also needs the key. Wow. This goes up onto like a stream a stream side thingy. Hmm. Oh, Kawaiyo. Oh, is that a box over there? What is that? It's a little house. For Ghostbusters when you need them. I think it's gonna take more than Ghostbusters to beat whatever this Dark presence is. <laughs> yeah. The tape the, the tablet forgot to mention shadow creatures as part of the fauna. Yeah, obviously. Obviously it forgot about the shadow creatures. Can I can I get this down? Am I supposed to shoot it down? Like the the cottage. The cottage? Hmm. <laughs> With this acid, my sleeves look the look it looked like the Baldur's Gate tree glitchy armor. You're right, it kind of does. But also, don't worry about it. Can I go into the water? I don't want to, but I can. <laughs> I hate it when the music like suddenly gets really intense. <laughs> Is there nothing here? Nothing here. I'm supposed to go in the water. I'm just trying to look for things. Oh! Ah! There are some gill thumbs on the floor! Can I use them to buy caramel fudge? Oh my god! Worry not, guild leader. The Toric Knights are here for you. Obviously you're here! Yeah, obviously you're here for me! Oh my god! I can't take care of the coins! Normando, hi hi. <laughs> that that one usually doesn't scare me. What is that? That up there. That 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 alert usually doesn't scare me, but today it does. <laughs> oh, this is the private cabin. Okay. This is the private cabin. Surely there's not going to be a deer hunter in here. That's going to attack me. Oh my god, what does it say? Notice? Utility... Shed is closed. It's closed. I'm scared to go in. Oh! Maybe it's going to be a safe place! Generator? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. <gasps> There's light inside! There's light inside! <gasps> It's a safe house! I found another safe house! I hope we don't have to like rev up the... Rev up the generator every time, but this feels so safe. Let's go. Oh, what does this say? Guest, Miriam and Matt, thanks for the lovely hike. Patty came down from New York City and loved every minute of the trip. 
Lori and Bob, this pots have seen better days. <laughs> Kev, nice view you got here. And Mr. Lockhart, may I suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way? Yeah. Say, is that, say files meaning monsters soon? Surely not, surely not. Oh, is that a manuscript page? I think it is. Okay, go, let, me, let me go look at that. Read? Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Oh, I'm my glasses. Or things not quite human, lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they shared one important element. Danger in, in the dark, in the woods. Uh, somewhere along all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, so Zach, hi, hi. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you around. Is this my saving? Okay, there wasn't anything here other than like the quick save and the manuscript page. Hmm. Oh, there's stuff outside. Another one of those rhymes. A rhyme. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, am I supposed to put the dolls on different things? Look at this, we can like put the items here. So we have a heart. We're probably going to, have to gather items. A chicken, a tree, a house, and an eye. I wonder if this is the same. A mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the bees coming to feast. But only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Interesting. Interesting. So we're at least going to have to gather like four more items for me to complete whatever that is. I think. Maybe. Well, let me read it again. Mother crow sits in her nest. A nest would maybe be in a tree. Yeah, crow doll sits in the nest. I don't know. Hmm. Yellow flash, hi, hi. All the reading, I might have to keep my glasses on, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one. Oh, wait. Was there an X? It was like a prompt there for a second. Maybe it was just for this. Hmm. Is there anything around the cabin? Maybe we could look into it. There's some chairs here. Hmm. I guess we go out. Fashion flower, hi hi. And then we go down to the right. We still have these two containers which I can't open. And the nursery rhymes. So the nursery rhymes get marked and the question marks get marked. Point of interest. Point of interest. I like that they put a lot of markers. That's really nice. They put a lot of markers in the map here. Like nursery rhyme. Nursery rhyme. Point of interest. Break room. So we can see where everything is. <laughs> Just nursery rhyme and chalk doodles. Yeah, it's doodles. Could I not? This one didn't have a lock on it. I wonder... No, nothing works. Hmm, Mrs. Dream notification of it. Hi, hi. I'm not girl. Hi, hi. If I go down here, I shouldn't be walking all the time. I should be riding a little. No, darkness! Oh, no, we're fighting. We're going to be fighting. I, I heard something. I saw something flashing over here. Oh, it's a shadow enemy! It's a shadow enemy! Oh my god. Okay, chat, chat. I'm going to take a quick, quick, quick break. I'm totally not procrastinating. I'm not procrastinating. I'm just taking a quick break and then I'll be back. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Right back, right back. <laughs>
some oh. coins for the girl. <laughs> boo. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm back, Chad. Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> why? What do you mean, why? What do you mean, why? <laughs> I have to make it a little bit exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, Iki. Super chat. Arigato. I see it. I see the super chat. <laughs> okay, hello, sir. Please let it only be one. What is that over there? I don't know who you are, sir. Whoa! Whoa! Reload, reload, reload. Oh no. Is he dead? Oh, I got him. Oh, he actually dropped stuff? He actually dropped ammunition? I think that's the first time an enemy has dropped stuff for me. Yeah! <laughs> The very high eye. What is this? Oh, seven minus two. Is that what it says? Seven minus two. I wonder if it's five or if it's like a sequence of number. Oh wait, wait, wait. Six plus two. Plus three. Seven minus two. Six plus two. Oh, and there's a crate up there. Plus three. So seven minus two, that would be five. And then six plus two would be eight. Pretty sure seven minus two is five. Yeah, it's five, right? The six plus two would be eight. And then something plus three. So seven minus two. You you can remember that for me, Trad, right? <laughs> that can that can be your task right now. Is someone remember the numbers for me? <laughs> if I forget, six plus two, and then Another three plus three. Box. Oh, that's a generator. <laughs> rock, rock, tree. Are you bright enough? Okay, okay. Let me see. Okay, so rock, rock, tree. Five, six, eight. No, let's see. Let me see. Okay, what's the rock? Let's see. Rock, rock, tree. So five, six, and eight are the numbers. Rock, rock, tree. And eight is going to be the final one. So six, five. <gasps> there we go. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. You didn't re need to remember, Chad. I had it covered. <laughs> Are you one of us or one of them? I hope I'm one of the ones who's not the bad guy. Also, I have a lot of flares now. <gasps> Big med kit! Let's go. Oh, whoa! That just moves. That was scary. <laughs> Where's the six? You didn't see it? Oh, the six is over here. Three plus three. Three plus three. That's the six. Yo, yo, say hi. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, I have like five hand flares. I missed an intense light for the long duration and can be held in hand. I have five of these. Hmm. Oh, Eric is so smart. Yay, what if it's smart? Just figuring out the riddles. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay, so that is this area. And I guess maybe it goes to the right. I wonder if you can like go up to the to the right. If you can like follow the river over here, maybe. Nihalo, Akwachan, hi hi. Oh yeah, you might be able to follow this back. Okay, let's try going that way when we're when we're going back then. Come on, come on. <gasps> There's another enemy here now. <gasps> there they are! They weren't here before. Did not get them. Oh, it's the hunter! This guy might be stronger. This guy might be stronger. Did I get them? Oh, I got them. Okay, let's go. 
Let's go. <laughs> Wonder if there's multiple in the area now. That's the one benefit. Let me let me try and shoot this down. Okay, you can't. Wait, is it a bullet? But it's fine. I wonder if there is anything significant in the water. There's like nothing here. Girl, hi hi! <laughs> I guess we head to the Witchfinder's hut then? Oh, let me go and quick save. Let me go and quick save. Back at the pond? Yeah. I'll go and quick save before I proceed. The hunters are weak to bullets. They're weak to the flashlight and then the bullets. There we go. Quick save. Quick save. Nothing new here. Wah. But it's interesting that like sometimes the enemies spawn behind you, I guess. After you've been in the area once. like Because that guy was not there before. And then I guess we go up to the witch finder hut. Which I think is this way. Bullet check? Yeah, the bullets are, are reloaded. We have like... We have 16 handgun ammo and we have 15 shotgun ammo. So the shotgun is like my backup. I'll use the hand pistol for the song if I have it. How big is this area? I just... <laughs> God, I'm so scared going in here. I need all the information I can get. Oh, this is a pretty... This is a pretty big area up here. So we're going up the pathway, and then there's like a big chunk of place where the enemies could be hiding. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Anyone behind me? Okay, so here's the drop down. I'm just going. Oh, God, the sound it makes when I drop down. It's kind of spooky. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything over here. Like any of the hidden hidden caches, poems or items? No, I don't think so. I need all the stalling I can get. Yay! You know, you know I do, Chad. You know I do. <laughs> Witchfinder Station. Oh. What is that? Is that a spoopy? This had a lot of stuff outside of it. This seems like a big enemy base. Also, what is that yellow thing inside here? <gasps> there's a second floor even? You're going to laugh if there's nothing here? Oh my god, there's going to be stuff here. I can almost guarantee it. This feels like a place they would put like jump scares in the house. Oh, look, look at the nice view. Oh my god, I want to turn my back on the house. There's definitely something inside here. Or outside. And why are there so many video cameras like all the way around? What is that? Why is there a weird... What is that? <laughs> Salve! Hi hi! I heard a sound. It's like someone... It's like someone opened the door or something? It was like a door opening sound. Just filming some home movies. I don't know. These home movies seem very scary. <laughs> and the door to the house is just open. I mean, that's not the strangest if it's abandoned, but... Oh god, creepy creepy. There's a rhyme over here. There's another rhyme. The hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry. He ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she lost the thing she loved the most. Oh, that's ominous. Also, we can like place the angel, the crow doll. But I don't know where I would place it. Is that? Oh, is this a chair? The thing I saw was a chair. If only this was in the town, we could have some fun with that chair and just knock it over, but... No, this is place is too scary to enjoy the joy of chairs. I'm so scared of the house! 
<laughs> the house is welcoming me with open doors? No. I would rather investigate the house from the outside. <laughs> Cheer, our old friend. Now I just need multiple chairs. I need multiple chairs. Yeah. Do not turn your back on the house. Sure, the house is evil. There's a back door. There's a back door. There may be more than one chair in there. <gasps> Maybe. I bet there's more than one chair. <gasps> back door is also open. Wow, they're they're not taking their home security any safe anything safe at all. I mean it was one door that was closed, but all the other doors are open. Ah <sighs> there's like three chairs inside. Oh my god, you're making the inside very tempting, chat. Don't be scared, you'll keep me safe. You gotta promise. You gotta promise you'll keep me safe. Hello. Maybe what we heard was the back door opening? Oh, that's kind of creepy. A manuscript page? Manuscript? An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both, both directions, directions to, to manifest. manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location mm. and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting, connecting to, to the, the story, story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. Mm. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut, cut out, out of his, of his chest. chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted Interesting, ambition. interesting. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Interesting. <laughs> twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, mm. a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality. A blanket over mixing it, with our reality overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream. Bad dreams is Remember, this is all a bad dream, Chad. <laughs> in its dark horror design. This is all just a bad dream. Don't worry about it. Also, let me see if I have more stuff. Cult stashes. There we go. There we go. Cauldron Lake. Nice. Why are we collecting? I don't know. Also, someone said the audio was cutting out. So while that was reading, I went in to check in my like the noise filters in OBS, which I basically never use. And there actually was a noise filter enabled. I think it's from when I do my ASMR streams. So I disabled that. So hopefully the ga the low game noises won't cut out anymore. Okay, I want to investigate this area down here before we go to the house. Because the house is scary. <laughs> Somehow the forest feels safer. Even I'm sure that's just an illusion. Oh, look at these. They're less creepy than the tree triangles at least. There's another lunchbox. Oh wait, lunchbox! Yay, look here. That is final. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Manuscript fragments. Maybe I have enough to upgrade my weapon soon. Obviously, we're going to succeed, or else he wouldn't be the hero, duh. Hmm. Let me let me go and see if I have enough. It's been a while. Mm, there we go. Weapon upgrades. Pistol, the gunsmith. Oh, we do have enough. Increase magazine size. I land two headshots. I'm not doing a lot of headshots. I feel like a magazine size might be better. Let me get that. Saga had lost count of oh! how many shots she'd fired. But she was sure it must have been. I even wrote something about this. <laughs> and yet, she'd not run out of ammo. As if the magazine had yeah, the magazine has magically minutes. grown. <laughs> fired again. Nice. That's pretty cool. And then I can... Let's see what we get. Okay, so I had 12. It's from 12 to 18. That's a big increase. I'm wondering, welcome back. Okay. 
Gotta head back to work, Yellow Flash. Have a nice work day. I'll see you around. Oh, this is oh, this is above the little little lake thingy. I guess we can drop down here if we want to. That's interesting. Oh, twigs breaking in the forest. Don't like that though. This is just a lunchbox. Okay, into the house then. I don't want to go into the house. Let me go in from the back at least. First time is like, oh, has Alan woken up yet? Yeah, Alan is actually awake, but he's not here right now. We're playing a saga. Anyone in here? Oh, there's a duck! Hello, little ducky. Oh. There's a page. Okay, what is this? What is this? Ayumi, hi, hi. Uh, tip of the day. When nature calls on a hike, check the direction of the wind before answering. Observations. Hikers have broken off branches of some of the trees down by the lake to make an illegal fire. Tried to fix up some of the damage. Doused the area. Maybe put up more instructional signs. Hmm. Also found some tracks I don't couldn't recognize. Pretty big. A wolverine or footprints that were smeared. Either way, they were pa wandering around in strange patterns. Might be a sick animal. Need to keep a lookout. Careful with that with the duck it bites. I guess we'll find out. Oh, wait. Other one. Other one. Poem of the day. The sun as she sleeps knows to knows not the woe of man. Who toss and turn and worry and fret and wish they had her blissful slumber. Observation picked up a bunch of trash left by tourists despite despite posted guidance. Humans are the worst. Ah, <laughs> uh, the litterers. The people that leave trash everywhere. Every majestic pine was once just a wee acorn. Hmm. A lot of new growth in the area. Some of the saplings I planted earlier are really thriving. Must be all the rain. I don't mind it either. Great sounds to sleep to. It's amazing what a good uh, night's rest and a warm cup of tea can do. That was just some observation or uh, observational manuals. Okay, into the house we go. There's whispering sounds. Is a TV on somewhere? Oh my god. <gasps> What's that? Did the TV turn off? It entered. Is this going to try and kill me? Is that one going to come alive and try and kill me? It's facing the wall. Very ominous, ominous like. I don't like that. That's very scary. I'm alone inside with the moose. Scariest thing in the game? Yeah. Shoot it? No, if I shoot it, I feel like it's going to come alive and kill me. I'm scared of it. It's spoopy. Be scary. <laughs> okay, what what's the left here? What's the left is some laundry stuff. And nothing. Nothing I can grab anyway. Ah. <sighs> oh no, I headed into the room again. Scary. I'm scared to go into the rest of the house! The devs knew somehow. Somehow they knew. <gasps> More toys there. Wait, I need to I need to close the door so I can there you go. And there's a deer. There's an office here. Some newspaper cuttings. Oh, this place is so scary. <laughs> Alan Wake 2, Taylor made to frighten Erica Biaco. Oh, there's another. There's another muse. Oh my god. Is it the same muse that just moved? Painkillers. Let's go. <laughs> Should I be looking at the desk? Oh, wait. Can I interact with something here? No. 
can interact with the computer. There's a cat! There's a cat picture! Oh yeah, that's cute. Can interact with... Rest easy, buddy. Oh no, we're touching it. Pick out your flashlight! Why didn't you put out her flashlight for that? That terrified me. The darkness. <laughs> okay, the PC. There's no one in this cabinet, right? There's no one in the cabinet. As long as there's more rubber duckies than there is in the house, it should be fine. You can probably, probably. The staircase that goes upstairs. Oh, we have to find a password. Okay, we have to find a password somewhere in the house. I guess we gotta head upstairs. <laughs> Why is this so scary? I'm like literally just inside the house. Why is this so scary? <laughs> Someone had a play area here. Someone was filming. It's poopy. Why was there filming a child? <gasps> There's a doll, a hero doll. Someone's opponents have been speaking about a hero. Test sites at Cauldron Lake. Location, Witchfinder Station. Stream side, Cauldron. So two, two test sites. At stream at Witchfinder Station, one at Streamside and one at Cauldron Rental Cabins. Those angles on the walls are scary. Yeah, they are scary. Anything I can interact with here? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh yeah, deep breaths, deep breaths. Can't spell password without swords and start slashing. Um, I don't think this, it's going to work on a computer though. There's a door there. Let's open the door first. Oh, it's just a to toilet. This is a bathroom. Just a bathroom. There's a bag here, a duffel bag. Oh. This is a longer thing to read. Collect. Okay, let me let me let me read. Let me read. <laughs> Objective: Research into the reality-altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source, and then manifesting the result into existence. <laughs> you never know; it might work on the computer. Just start slashing with a sword. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Metho mythology. The FBI's intent in this re oh FBC FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes. Oh, they were experimenting with the nursery rhymes. That was like an FBC experimentation. Hmm. An attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality. Either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but are not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst these past events, uh, for these past events, after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration. Or by fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline, using the creator as a conduit. Hmm. In this in experiment, we'll create nursery rhymes, text with specific function, and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via carefully, uh, careful testing process, uh, with the purpose of the story told and the fiction manifesting itself into real life. Oh, I don't know if I want to do like the nursery rhyme puzzles then, because they're trying to like manifest things into reality. <laughs> we could be summoning demons for all I know. Like, literally, I could be summoning demons. <laughs> a variety of combinations involving the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amount of data. It's demon summoning! It's totally demon summoning! <laughs> if this happened to your writing, it could either be comfy, fluffy heaven or at the absolute worst nightmare. Oh my god. 
I hope a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing of our, our results. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be scary. Why is, why is this so scary? Oh, <laughs> this is a little bit of demon summoning for Halloween. How about no? Oh, is that doll? That's like duck doll. Or goose? And it has boots on? Why, ca why can't we pick up the hero doll, but we can't pick up this like goose with boots? <laughs> Set of heart, hi hi. And Marcus, hi hi, how's it going? It's going, it's going well. Oh, question mark. Oh, another doll. It's a wolf. It's a wolf doll. Demon summoning because science. Because science. Did that move? Oh, did what move? Did, did what move? Did what move? Oh my god. Also, how what is the code to the computer? Ducks, moose, now geese. Where will it end? Just a lot of, a lot of stuff. Yeah. <gasps> is that me? I think that was like item physics. I don't think that was like a haunting. Or you never know. <laughs> when we could summon Raphael and strike a deal, you know. At this game, I was like tempted to be like, Ra oh god. Like, Raphael, if you can, like, solve the mystery for me, you can have my soul, maybe. With some conditions. <laughs> Nikai! Yeah, what is the... What is the code? What is the code? Beast within. Oh, let go. Hi, hi. Just know some of your candies. You need to leave just like now. There are children at your door. Ah, the trick or treaters. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a. I mean, this is one way to open a cabinet. <laughs> this, this is uh, This is one way to open a cabinet. I just like I just like removed the sh the doors, and there wasn't anything in here. But yeah, and and this lamp, and this lamp. I also I think I tipped it over. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry, lamp. I'm just scared, and you just you're just there. <laughs> wow, yeah. Uh, I I'm just adding to the destruction that was in the room from like before. Was is there something? <gasps> Two, five, four, seven. Wait, how do I... How do I choose the numbers? Oh, there we go. Two, five, four, seven. Ah! Oh my god! It worked! I thought it needed six numbers, but I guess I guess it was enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just casually committing destruction of property. No, 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 don't, don't worry about it. Project Nursery Rhymes, working title. From Dr. Eugene Campbell to Dr. Marmot and Dr. Marmot? Hmm. I received your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academics, as well as the recreational exper expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing, will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating the testing material. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD, leads researcher, Department of Parafictional. Department of Parafictional Research. Wow, that is one department name. Water. Uh, here is the promised update on the project's first experimentations. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls, the icon uh, iconographic. Uh, iconogra iconographic. Iconographic. <laughs> Nature of the test items with hypotheses to be beneficial for these research, research purposes. Uh, the test results negative. I will continue testing uh, with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. Hmm, interesting. They were testing stuff. 
It's clear, Erica is a kitty, barely inside the house, and already there's stuff all over the floor. The lamp has been tipped over and the furniture is ruined. Oh, you want to know something funny? Uh, like five days ago, I think, like around five days ago, uh, I woke up uh, and then I went to the, into the kitchen to give my cats their, their breakfast. And and one of the cats was like lying on the on the on the carpet on the kitchen, and like in front of him was the was I have like a, a medium height standing lamp, in the in the kitchen, uh, for extra light because the ceiling light like isn't that strong, and the lamp was like tipped over lying in front of him, and he was like lying in a perfect loaf shape, going like yeah I didn't do this, <laughs> and the lamp was tipped over. But honestly, it was probably not him that tipped it over, uh, because another one of my cats has been, like, trying to tip over that lamp repeatedly lately. So the, the cat that was, like, actually lying in front of it was probably innocent. <laughs> but it was hilarious. It's like, he was just lying there, like, perfectly, and the lamp, like, 10 centimeters in front of him tipped over, and I was like... Huh. Cat, I'm innocent, I'm sweeter. Yeah, they were just innocent. <laughs> The file. I wonder if we put this here. There we go. Versailles, welcome to, to the guild, sweetie. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your guild membership and the emotes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. This one doesn't look right. Oh no. This one. There we go. <laughs> The FTC oh. is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Yay! We got a deduction. And that always goes well. Let me see. And then we have the lunch boxes. This one is for Cauldron Lake. Nice. Cats are always not guilty in their own mind. That is, yeah. Cats are always innocent. Also, maybe there's an enemy outside. Some more toys. This area has been so suspiciously peaceful. Okay, should Welcome I interact to the with this hero? Hmm, Kyori, welcome back. <laughs> Recite is you've been lurking around long enough. Now the now the guild member. Nicey, nicey. <laughs> okay, this one was the hero brave and strong. Left home to right or wrong. The woods came, uh, from the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she lost the thing she loved the most. I don't know, did I put like the, the wolf on the forest? Uh, th these are scary. I'm scared to interact with these chat. I'm very scared to interact. This requires two dolls both in the house. Oh god. <laughs> A wolf in the forest, the little chicken and the herald. That's not right. Oh. Oh god, this is spoopy. Did it like the the hair like the candy? Keep trying. Hmm. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah. They all just sold this on my own. Yeah, I should probably sell this. Ah! Oh my god, what is this? Something feels different. Oh no. I should look around. Oh no. There's wolf prints going inside the house. Ah, what did I do? What did I do? Oh my god. These these footprints weren't here before. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Where's my flashlight also? Can we just leave this place and like leave this alone? What have I done? I might have summoned a demon. I feel like this is my responsibility. I feel like this is my responsibility to deal with. Oh my god, where does this prince go? What is this? What is this? What is this? <gasps> Jesus. Oh, they're like, they're like smoking. Look at that. They're like... The air above the footprints are like bending. Nothing... 
Yeah, I think I have to go upstairs. <laughs> I'm still going upstairs. Instructions unclear. Ended up summoning a demon. Yeah, oh god, it goes this way. Oh my god, what is that? It's kind of black shadow blood. I'm not sure this isn't my prints. No, oh, these shit. are wolf prints. Did I burn this? A charm. Cute. Oh my god, it's a it go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Oh god, yeah, just like put this, put this uh, shadow charm on my bracelet. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. So I guess they're 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 good things, but also what is this? The what made the paw prints? Ah. <laughs> How do I charms are have various benefits? Equip them by placing them in various slots. How do I items? Charm bracelet? Like how do I put on the charms? You can move that one. That one is one increases maximum health. Oh, there we go. There's a charm. Saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Coffee mug charm. Whoa, so it's like one a one-time save from death. That's pretty good though. But if you use it, you use it and it's gone. But still, creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. And it might be cursed. Maybe it's cursed. We don't know. Okay, let's see. I think I've explored this entire area now. We have two other nursery rhyme puzzles though, and we also have this lock that I couldn't open. So I think we'll go down to the, to the lake. I'm sure I want to equip it now. I'll just equip it now. Oh my god, don't do that, Casey! I'll meet you at the parking lot. Okay, we're going... Yeah, we, we, yeah, we did an investigation in the area. How's it going? It's going... It's going okay. But also, it's pretty scary. Do we need to take the dolls back? I think I took the dolls. I think I... Yeah, I have them. I have the dolls. I picked them up. Okay, that was a lunchbox I got. Also, I'm scared to go back to the main story because I feel like the main story... <laughs> It's going to have guaranteed jump scares again. Let me go up to the cabin and save. Yeah, I still can't open these. That one is still locked. Quick save! Auntie Nari, hi hi! Gamer, hi hi! Wow, wow. Oh, it's just the sound. Stop. And it's changing when I went inside. Okay, let me take this. A mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero of brave of heart can keep these two apart. Oh, a hero brave of heart. Maybe a hero here. And then uh, a crow doll protecting. I feel, feel like maybe we have all the dolls for this. Oh god! I did it first try! Feeling something's changed. Did that one first try. But also what what changed? What what changed? Put in here. Quick save. You hear something? No no you don't hear something. A crow? Oh, was those like the crow, crow house out in the forest? Maybe... Hear a doggo? Oh no, maybe there's a wolf! Oh yeah, a wolf and a crow. There was the birdhouse out in the forest. And then a hero have to keep them apart? Oh no, I think we have to... I think we have to deal with a wolf. I think we're going to have to deal with a wolf. Oh no. Yeah, like out here. Oh, I hear growling. Good doggo. Good doggo. Good doggo. 
Not good to call. <laughs> Where is it? I hear the growling. <laughs> How's my heart rate? Uh, I don't. I don't want to know. But I shot at the Baron house on Hero. That was because I didn't know. <laughs> Can I not interact with it? There we go. Another That's... charm for my bracelet. Harder than the humans for some reason. Oh no 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 no! Oh. Whoa whoa whoa! Oh, was that it? No, no, he's still alive. I got him! I got him! I got him! I got him! Oh. Of course, it's a booty. What else did you expect? Yeah, but his booty was the only part I could see. Hi, <laughs> oh 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 Hope you're having a nice day. Quick save, quick save, quick save. Okay. Okay, and let me check what charm I got. Increases hand flare duration and area of effect. I mean, I'll equip it. I have like five hand flares that I have to use. <laughs> ah, have a nice day. Filling the shape, yes. I got the... I got the thingies. Okay, let's see. There was actually one more location for these. Yeah, there was another nursery rhyme location here. So I guess let's go back and try and do this one before we leave the area. <sighs> because if it's an... If, if we have a fourth charm, we can save the extra life charm for a boss fight or something. No, I like doggos, chat. I like doggos. My my big sis actually has a very cute doggo. I just have cats myself. <laughs> doggos are a little bit too high energy for me to have as pets, but they're re really cute. Okay, let's check this one. One bird for light, two for dar darkness, three for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for... Injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, wherever it might be. This one, I don't know if I have all the figures. I wonder if it's only the crow. Thanks, Saga. It's only the crow. I think it might be only the crow. Wah. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just placing it places. <laughs> Hmm, blah, 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 blah. Think Saga, think. You think Erica, think. Oh! Yes. Oh my god! Burp! Burp? Are you, are you a friend? Are you a friend, Burp? Oh, there's a friend, Burp. Okay, okay, Another we got a charm. charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. Attack, stagger enemies more often. Oh, that's really good. Okay, let me... Re let me replace the, the protection charm. And we'll save the protection charm for a boss fight. Okay, 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 okay. And also, Marshall, thank you for gifting five memberships to the community. Thank you, thank you, Marshall. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and then I'll drink some water. <laughs> Since I love the Marshall in chat, especially if you get a gift aid. Mm. Ah, water. Okay, now we head back, though. Now we head back. Uh, let me try and let me try and go the water way and see if that's a possibility. Wah, 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 wah. And we have to keep an eye out for wolves and surprise enemies, just in case. Just in case. It annoys me so much that I don't have the keys for these lockers. <laughs> but I think Welcome it... to the game. Oh, okay. oh, I forgot about. The... Ah! <laughs> Do I have to hit the... Do I have to hit the thing behind him? Welcome to the guild. Oh, actually. Let me test out the hand flare. 
How does this work? How does this even work? I guess it's like a temporary protection. Welcome to the guild. I think I have to hit the thing on his back. In the dark? Throw it at him? Whoa! Whoa! What Welcome happened to, to him? The guild. He just got obliterated. Ooh. The lighted burns? Yeah, that, that light that burned. And Marshalls, arigato. Happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween, Marshall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, still no key. <laughs> so, hand flare is good. Hand flare is good. Also, shotgun good. Oh, did it not reload? Reload. Some coins for the gill. Ooh, there you go. Oh, and let me re reload this one. Uh, am I going the right way? Oh, you're scared, Steve. I'm also scared. Oh, why am I still wearing my glasses? It's been a while since I read something. <laughs> I am also scared. <laughs> we gotta be brave together. We gotta be brave together. There's a box there. And there's a charm thingy. There might be a lunchbox. <gasps> oh, this one isn't locked! Ammo! Nice and nice. I wonder if there's a lunchbox here. Maybe the flashlights create a weak spot on them? Yeah, I think maybe the me throwing the flare maybe it, like did some extra damage. Ammo, ammo. I look cute to the glasses on though. But, but only for reading, for special occasions. Is there is there a box here? Another one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those those colorful markers seems to be like lunchbox markers. Hmm. Oh, glasses again for reading. <laughs> Today's your ninth anniversary. You just got back from taking your wife out to lunch to celebrate. Oh, that's really nice. Hope you had a good time in Nari. And happy anniversary. <laughs> I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave. A marching band of shimmering light. Lonely and cold, I hugged myself inside. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there. His face was smiling at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but he was there. Uh, my love, my savior, my writer? Oh, someone is talking about Alan Wake. Maybe it's Alice. His wife? I wonder what happened to her. Hmm... The pillow friend is so I can hide behind if I get scared. It's for extra for extra safety and protection. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just feel braver watching horror movies or playing scary games if you just have a pillow to hug. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so this goes down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we go up to the car park, I think. I think we go this way. I missed the box, did I? Did I miss the box? I didn't see the box I missed. But a pillow gets possessed? The pillow is already awake. The pillow is already alive. <laughs> it just get, it gets extra courage. It just gives a little bit of extra courage. What is this phone booth? Rippy. I look at it. Hmm. Plot twist, the pillow is a cult leader. No, don't make me... Don't make me be scared of the pillow, chat. I don't want to be scared of the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm lucky, this should just be a uh, run right up to the parking lot. I think it's this way? Zero bed, hi hi. Oh wait, or is there a shortcut? Is there a shortcut? Oh, I think this is a shortcut. Yeah, let me go here. It's a good thing the game gave me a map, because this forest is pretty confusing. <laughs> you want me to be scared of the pillow? No, the pillow is our friend. What if there's a baby moose inside the pillow? Oh, actually, this is kind of funny, Chad. Considering how scared I am of moose, uh, I have a couple of plushies that like live on my bed. <laughs> Oh god, what's that sound? Kitty cats! 
kitty cats, you gotta stop making sounds in the background, okay? I can't... I can't take the jump scares in the game and then IRL as well. That's, like, too much. That's two dimensions of sounds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so one of, one of the plushies that live in my bed... Uh, or on my bed, rather, is actually a tiny moose plushie. I actually have a, a cute tiny moose plushie. Yeah. Up, 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 um, up. What's my plushie to pillow? <laughs> plushie to pillow to blanket ratio? I have more plushies than pillows, uh, but they're not as big as the blanket. Oh, wait, am I not heading... Oh, I'm heading up to rental cars. Have I been here? Hmm... Am I remembering to hydrate? Or oh, I should probably drink some more water. Right, right. <laughs> it's the moose plushing you making those sounds. No! Oh my god. I'm going to be sleeping with my lights on again tonight. The lights will definitely be on. Finally, after like two hours... We can see Alan Wake. Is he here? Is he in the car? Casey! Another person! Let's go! Let's go. Oh, there he is! There's Alan Wake. He's in the car, Chad. You can see his, uh, his neck. It's the back of his head. <laughs> I'm running the water. Why do I have a moose plushie? Uh, because I bought it on a school trip when I was younger. Yeah. And I've had it since then. Yeah, it's cute. And it's uh, soft and fluffy. <laughs> he looks depressed. But I mean, he's been 13 years in the lake, so... It doesn't look like an otter. He's an author! Author. Uh, otter. 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 An otter author. <laughs> okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're going back to Bright Falls. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Not e nothing ever ha <laughs> nothing scary ever happens when people are around. We're taking you back to Alfield totally. Bright Falls. Like the other time we were in the morgue and there was lots of people around and nothing scary happened. <laughs> yeah. Hey mom, before you see Logan, I'm totally fine. Hmm. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one no texted? One texted me. Yeah, we didn't get a What's text from Logan. Logan. I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. Wait. God, it's not the end of Logan the slipped? What's going on here? Your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's mom. What's going on? Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and Bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Why is this the I first time we heard about me. this? Could have drowned. She could have drowned. Jesus, David? Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. Didn't go She's true. Fine. Oh, maybe it happened when we were in the dark place. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, a weird case. Just weird. Time case shenanigans? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard did <laughs> it. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for him. Oh, I think I had Cluedo. Isn't that the board game? I think we had Cluedo when I was younger. I remember that. Or they Tayai! Awesome pillow. Yeah, the pillow is awesome and cute. In the town now. Synchronized coffee drinking. Alan Wake still looks depressed in the background. <laughs> I like the music. Jazzy. In the US, you just call it Clue? Oh, it was called Cluedo, I think. Or something like that. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? His wife? You've been gone a long time. No. It's like, no, 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 no do not get them involved. They'd be in danger. Ah. Uh. <laughs> come for me. Okay, mm. let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. Uh, the Dark Presence got him back then. Dark Presence? That's the last the time big I saw evil. Him. 13 years. Hmm. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. But... You oh. had one like a title <laughs> page with you. Return. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? 
The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. Yeah. But your name can still be made out underneath. Yeah, the language. <sighs> the language. It's yeah. been true a lot, though. Scratch. <laughs> Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, that that is fair, though. He has been he has been in the dark place for thirteen years. It doesn't make sense. Oh. He's looking at the light. You okay, Alan? You okay? I remember. Oh, he remembers? Oh, wait, are we going to be playing flashback segments? Oh, oh. Oh, no. Not into the darkness. Not into the darkness. Ah! Oh, God, it's creepy. Oh, that's so creepy. Ha. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we're going to be playing flashback segments, I think. In the dark place. Was the dark tornado? Ah, I see, I see. And you know, am I winning? I think so. Late night initiation one. A talk show tonight. Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. Oh no. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Oh no. Point of interest cases track objects and information that Saga has acquired to chart collection progress. Hmm. Can we? Oh, we can't go into the we can't go into the mine place when we're when we're Alan. Oh, we have no items and no gear. I love the dark. No, I don't like the dark. Do we have items? I felt a strange pull toward the TV. No, 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 no TV. TV scary. sleep. <laughs> I think I have no choice. Hello, Alan. Hi. Hi. This is looking very real. <laughs> You're warm welcome to Alan Wake. Bam, 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 bam. In between with Mr. Door. Sit down. The real Alan Wake? Yeah, the real Alan Wake. <laughs> wow. Wow. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does... What yeah, like, where are we? Where are we, sir? Publishing a new book. A book? Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooked up in the <laughs> Alan looks like you've seen me. things. He looks like you've, like, seen exactly things. Right. His eyes look haunted. <laughs> I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. Sequel to Departure? Mmm, Departure was like the book he was forced to write in the last movie. It's an ocean. Yeah. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book. Initiation? It's the shelves tomorrow. Wait, wasn't he, wasn't he writing Return? Exactly what I thought he was writing a book called Return at it's the end of last game. Mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how is he writing describe? Initiation now? Fictional thought experiment, a, a, a horror story, a postmodern post detective story. story. Wait, this isn't right. I, I haven't written. He anything. has written without remembering again. So <laughs> okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. Oh. Yeah, I sad to say. I In volume, kind of low. Yeah, it like it, it went low. I haven't adjusted it. Remember if I'd written a book. Right? Let me let me put it up. Or maybe it was written by your evil double. There, I just boosted it well up quite played, a bit, Chad. Man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. There you go. That's very meta indeed. You see, 
Initiation oh. tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake. Is trapped in, in nightmare. nightmare. Desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten, forgotten is written. Hmm. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark, dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book. Alex Casey. Uh, Casey. Yeah. And I'm walking along. I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. The joke's on him. <laughs> but isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. Mm. It reminded me of the Matrix. The Matrix. I mean, the writer <laughs> is physically in his writer's room. Trap trapped there. there. And he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the mm. story he is writing. Like astral projection. Did I mm. get that right? Yeah. He's like, yeah, he's exactly like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Go on. I should be taking notes here. He's like, please let this me write this stuff. down. <laughs> notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Mm. Are we all in your story? Alan? Are we? Are we? <laughs> wow. No, he's I, spoiling I the whole book, yeah. In the book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex, Alex Casey, Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. Mm. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. Trilogy? Trilogy? Return. Return. Ooh. <laughs> He's like. Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. Oh no, it's darkness. Oh, darkness! Please, no darkness! Oh, no! No! Can we go back? <laughs> oh, no! Can we go back to the show, Chad? Uh, I want I want to go back to the show, please. Hello? I have no items. <laughs> I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I want to go... Oh. I needed to get home. Yeah, the game audio suddenly, like, went back to normal here. Let me, let me turn it back down. There we go. It got like super loud because I turned it up for the cutscene. The cutscene was like way lower than everything else for some reason. Ah. Loving these IRL segments is pretty cool, but also pretty scary. Do I have a map? No, of course I don't have a map. We're in, we're in a dream or something. Where are we? Where am I supposed to go? Go back here. What the hell was that interview? Yeah, what was Some that? kind of joke? Initiation? Okay. I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. It's all a bad dream. Like a good horror story. A horror game. <laughs> what show am I talking about? Oh no. You know the, you know the show, Chad? You know the show, right? Okay, we can't go in the door. Door is shut. All Gods of Asgard. Oh, that was the band. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. 665 Night Neighborhood of the Beast. Ha! That was a... <gasps> I think I was hitting the guitar. Oh! I'm sorry, guitar. I was trying to find a flashlight or something or a gun. <laughs> Mr. Door? <laughs> I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was interpretation? My, my interpretation of many worlds, Dr. Ca Casper Darling. Where's the chair and now the guitar? I'm just like hitting it by accident. Hey! Doesn't open. I think I've been locked in. I need a tree, a tree digit code. Fuck. <gasps> now I have to find the code myself. A tree digit code. Right. I am fine. I am fine. I can figure out the code. In between with Mr. Door. Oh, it's six six five. There was a, there was a tree digit code on the on the. Let's go! Let's go. 
Oh. Oh, that was creepy. There was something here. I played control and I'm broken transmission. I couldn't quite I, played out. I haven't played control. But we I read the summary what for the control that? DLC that's about Alan Wake. Oh, impossible yeah. to say. Oh that was that book was written by a recurring character from control? Interesting, interesting. That door code is not in Mr. Doors' room, scammed. Yeah, it was in the band room. I don't think people who are fine are saying I am fine to reassure themselves they are fine. I'm sure some people just say it randomly. Some people. Surely. Okay, we have another door. And we have storage. <laughs> Stop intensifying music. <gasps> I don't want my eye. There was something in the studio with me. No, 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 no. I had to get out. Control is great. I heard good things about Control. But is it a horror game? It's spooky. It's scary. Ruffy, hi, hi. Am I winning? I hope so. I I hope so. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Control is not horror, it's very creepy. The DLC is horror, okay. 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 Oh no, it's coming for me! It's coming for me, Chad! This is the ritual to ritual. Ritual? No. I don't like it. Oh. We're trapped in front of a typewriter again. I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. <laughs> this place felt familiar. Yeah, we've been trapped here. Memory surfaced about writing here for countless days. Is writing everything. Initiation draft one. Whoa. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. Mm. A summary of the story so far. That was part of initiation. Well. Warnings. I had written them. The writer's room. I couldn't remember writer's what room. it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. Oh no! I don't like the I could trust these words. I had to act on them. <laughs> it was right to escape. The right to escape. Twist the story to our advantage. Goal: get back to writing. Oh God, that's our goal. <laughs> Also, I must say, I hate, I hate, 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 hate that the scratch, scratch is used like as a scary thing in this game because one of the few detective slash crime series episodes that has ever freaked me out was actually, I think, the episode of Criminal Minds. That is called Mr. Scratch. I think that's the name of the episode. And that is one of the few times like watching crime TV shows that I've been like terrified. <laughs> I like actually like disturbed. So yeah, I do not like Scratch. <laughs> oh, wow. Water. Delicious. Yum, yum. He has a guest appearance in this game, obviously. <laughs> Writer's room was my safe haven. After the talk show, I thought I was home in New York, but none of it felt right. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The game knows, the game, the game knows. Mr. Scratch was very creepy. Yeah, those of you that know what I'm talking about, Mr. Scratch from Criminal Minds, he was probably the creepiest villain there. Oh... <laughs> Is the water spooky? No, I just drank the water. The water can't be spooky. Wow. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story was called Initiation. With the story I wrote, I projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Uh, everything Dor had said, uh, had said felt true. Uh, what that was, uh, was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? The dark place, trapped, you must write to escape. 
Read me, beware scratch. Alice. Alice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Spooky. We have a we have a radio. We can go behind the plot boards. Hmm. Oh, we have a TV. I guess we're writing. This looks like a, like a portable typewriter. I wonder which typewriter it's based on. I like typewriters. Yeah. But it's definitely a portable one. Much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. Dark place. Yeah. I use my writing to project myself out of this room. Seems like it's like memories. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Ah! It seems like his memory is like constantly getting erased. Oh, I can't turn upside down. No. Start again? Oh no. Again. You had a typewriter before IRL. It was so fun and satisfying. Yeah. Oh, I won a typewriter. Oh, oh no, are back again? Mostly done lurking. Headpads for all the jump scares you missed. Thank you for the headpads. And welcome back, Tanaki. <laughs> oh, we're back. We're back. And of course, we have Alan Wake here. Best selling writer, books, the films are based Find a way out of the talk show studio. It can't go out there. Door is inaccessible. Crackers. Hard boiled. The hard boiled diet. Eggs. <laughs> they still make new typewriters? I have not and never seen any in stores, so maybe just specialty place places. Yeah, let me go to the talk show. Welcome back to the show. We're back. Assault. Alan. Oh, wait, Alex Ask Casey is here now. He wasn't here before. Sorry, what? Like, what? what? I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right <laughs> next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he. Alex Casey is playing you? Casey, and Alan Wake is like. What? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. Yeah. <laughs> That's uncanny. Uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. Mm. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, <laughs> what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. Sam, like, is the director of the Remedy Games? Oh, is he? Is he the one playing Casey here? Different from mine. I, I... Very cool. I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. Hmm. I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Hmm. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film Murder, Murder Case, Case Casey. Casey. Should we roll it or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Just roll it. <laughs> oh, no. This city was an old scar. Refused to heal. Oh, I look so scared. <laughs> it needed the sun, but there was mm. only the night. I was tired. Inside Sam Lake was also the face of Max Payne in the first game, floor. in case it looks exactly like Max. Mm. Interesting, interesting. Reflection Hunting the view. view. I was trying to track down the missing, missing rider. My only clue was a table lamp. Shaped, shaped like an, an angel. angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. I got like the face like half flashing like in opacity in front of the That's screen is kind of creepy. Case, <laughs> great job, Sam. Very exciting mm. and very meta. I'm very meta. <laughs> Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp. Angel shaped lamp. <gasps> oh. Oh no, we're in this place again. No. Chan Chan, hi hi. Martin, hi hi. 
Are you looking for an angel shaped lamp now? Poopy scary. Poopy scary. I don't think I went here the first time. Oh, it's scary back here. It's scary. Ayumi, hi hi. <laughs> Fun times ahead? No, that's probably a bad thing. You guys saying fun times ahead. The store is locked. Am I supposed to go the same way? Angel shaped lamp. Oh, it's flashing 665. Was it doing that the last time? Five? Six? Five. Ooh, is that a new code? Five six five. You haven't played this yet. You're just assuming based on the previous visit. Maybe, maybe. You just been here just saying hi to those who are joining. Ah, uh, it's easy. <laughs> you get an extra hi hi then. I am me. It wasn't flashing last time. Yeah, it has to be a new code. Yay, let's go! New code. Hmm. Baba, hi, hi. Sure, there's nothing to be afraid of. For your little leader, it's dark because they're eco conscious and saving power. You're just saving power, just preserving power. Lime moo. Lime moo. Lime lemon. Limo limo. Ah, so fresh. <laughs> Can't go in here. Oh, last time I went in this, into the storage room and then we couldn't get further. Are we just going in a cycle? Just moving in a cycle? Oh my god. Hello? Who's humming? Oh god! <laughs> Scary. Open this door now. Opening the shortcut just in case. It's not ominous at all. Janitor's office. Just the janitor. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Some coins for the guild. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween, baby Des. Thank you for the coins. Thank you for the. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, <laughs> sir. Ah, no raid. There you are, Tom. Tom. Oh, not so much oh. evil that not a bit of good as well. Okay, my name is Tom oh, now. I thought it was Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see. You're gonna have a great Halloween there, cat. Always love your streams, such an adorable, adorable dork. I'll take that, okay. Also, Kuyori is super chat. Arikato, thank you for the super chat. Chat is here for me. Yeah, also here for me with the jump scares. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will that sounded like cursing. Maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but. You I don't want to go to the basement. Now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. Yeah, I think he's finished. <laughs> What's in the basement? What do you want me to get from the basement? Some coins for the guild. Not Tom. Not Tom, yeah. yeah. It was cursing, yeah, yeah, yeah I figured. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own, build his own exit. 
It's in a shoebox. This, is, a, this is the janitor from Control. <laughs> Interesting. Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Oh, we got a key. Janitor's key. It's our first item. Final was left in the talk show basement. Where did I even get to the basement? Uh, also, have we met? I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is... <laughs> He's like, yeah, don't, don't talk about your troubles to me. <laughs> the basement is where they hit the caramel fudge. Don't you worry, the home is still <laughs> there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and... Look, look into the puddle. The puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water, Water finds, finds its, its way. way. Water. Have we met? Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. Hmm. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Yeah. Just remember to turn, turn on the, on lights. the lights. Yeah, give me a flashlight. It won't take long when you get to flashlight. Work. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Map. <gasps> Map can be accessed by returning to the writer writer's room. Wait, can I not attack? Oh wait, here we go. Oh, here's the writer's room. Plot board. Okay, let me see. The angel lamp. Hmm. The lamp in the shoebox opens the way. Rider's journey. So we gotta find a lamp in the shoebox. Hmm. Super funny how we was just saying you finished idioms. It's pretty funny. It's a map. Okay, so right now we're here. This is Mr. Door, the band room. And we went through storage to get to the cafeteria. And then... We gotta go out here and then to basement downstairs. Oh, this place is big. Stage, lobby, workshop, basement storage. First floor shortcut. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> basement is down here, I think. Let me see if this is a shortcut we can open. Alan, oh, Alan Wick, yeah, here's where you started. I hope this stays open for later. Yeah, so when we get out in the future, we can just run down here if we need to like do another loop. Sound like growling. Basement. Ah, basement scary chat. Probably dark. Growing up in like my childhood home, I was scared to go down into the basement. The basement was scary and dark. Like really, really, really scared. To just run. We don't even have any weapons or anything. I can't really do anything other than like walk around. <laughs> This is the map again. Oh, this is spoopy. I'm always scared. I mean, I'm playing a scary game right now, so I'm like always scared. <laughs> Understandable, yeah. The basement was very dark though, and you had to like kind of go down a little bit to find like the... Oh. Hey, they're humming. You had to go down to like find the light switch, I think, which was scary. Where am I? We're here now. Basement storage. This is the laundry. Oh. Something here. A light? A light? It's like there's an icon pointing. A great grandpa's place had a dirt tunnel connecting his basement with an ex external building? Oh, that's super scary. There's like a symbol pointing there. Oh! Oh! There's some gilt <laughs> on the floor! Can I use them to buy caramel fudge? 
What are you talking about, chat? Erica is never scared. Totally. Totally never scared. To totally. Also, don't like it. Oh, thank you for the coins. Thank you for the coins. Thank you. <laughs> I'm totally never scared. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's light. Look at this. It's so bright. lamp and a shoebox. Let's go. Was this what the janitor had left for me? There we go. I found the lamp. An angel lamp. <sighs> the lamp felt significant. Yeah. A tool for You're more confused than darkness. you are scared. But it will be scary. <laughs> Not scared, just happily surprised. Between yeah. the lamp and the light overhead. Use the lamp to move light to create a way forward. Whoa! Whoa. When the light jumped into my lamp. The whole room changed. Oh, that's like scary. something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Oh, I think I like move the light up there if I want to. Ba, 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 ba. I will always put up with your shenanigans, Chad. <laughs> I think I put it over this other place, like over here. I felt another surge from the lamp. The glow in the lamp. Whoa! Glowed. It changed. Shifting the light in the room. It changed the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. The Harry Garrett show. Ooh. And then I remove it. Oh. That's interesting. So now you're like doing kind of like environmental puzzles. I go to the exit. Oh, God. Oh. Where am I going? Oh, is this the entrance to the bay? Oh, God, it's the janitor. Don't scare him, Mr. Janitor. Please don't scare me. Where am I supposed to go? Find a way out. Hello? 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 What's it? Oh, that's fine. Oh. Oh, hello TV? This is like a dead end. Some coins for the guild. Oh! Reality manipulation, let's go. <laughs> I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. Also, Reeve, donation, how to get the <laughs> Thank you for the coin. The switch. I Give lost it. Reeve. But I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. The lamp. We have the lamp. Here. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. Here. I write escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories. Countless stories. Memory. I keep failing, but I must must keep, keep trying. trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word yeah. I write is a step forward on the spiral of the darkness. Mm. I drive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, the compass. That's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? How to open the door that's not a door? It's not an ocean and a lake. Oh no. That's not a lake. A lake is not a lake. End of part. <gasps> I did something. I did something, chat. Oh, this road. Shoebox can store your items. Alan can access stored items from any shoebox in the dark place. Oh, but I I don't have any items though! <laughs> Wait, which items? <laughs> Real and not real at the same time. Yeah, wait, wait, game, which items? Shoebox. Give me the light. Oh, so the shoebox is only in there. Interesting. This is like accessing storage, but also we can go in here. Can I grab the light from here? items? 
We, we don't have any items. Like, literally, I have no items. Look at this. We have a janitor's, janitor's key. That's it. Oh, there's something here. Quick save. Quick save. Where does this go? Oh. Whoa! Is this the New York? Was ringing. Somehow, I knew the call was for me. Gotta go to the payphone? Hello? Hello? Alan Wake? Alan Wake? Yeah, that's me. Yes. Do you know who I am? Ooh. No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows? Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed mm. over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station. The Caldera subway. Street you Station, the subway? I'll call you again later. Hmm. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I Do know I know you? You You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Oh Don't my god, who worry. is this? <laughs> I got it now. We've been working. Great. You're breaking uh, up! You. You're breaking Hello? up, sir! Hello! Hell is living in a roguelike? Yeah, a memory loss roguelike. Oh, subway pass. Oh. Is our subway pass? Who knows? <laughs> subway pass get it? Yeah. I guess I... <gasps> Casey, initiation two. Find the subway station entrance. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. I guess I just start running around, maybe. Oh, that shadow looks like a person. That's creepy. Great ticket, lucky. Yeah. Just start running around because this place is big. Oh. I don't like the whisper zone. Elimination. Cold case. Alex Casey. What's up at the diner to grab a snack? I don't think... We haven't gotten a lot of interactable items. Books! Question shop. Oh! We're right! We're right! We're in the dark place. Yeah, we're in the dark place. Yeah, make fiction come true. Yes, I can use this. I need to use this. Things. Yeah, the they take in. You wouldn't become Alan. Oh, that's a that's a dark figure over there. Creepy, creepy. Books over there. What is that sound? The Caldera Street station sign was there. Oh. But the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Well, I gotta grab the Maybe light. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. Oh. The lamp was dead in my hand. I, I got... needed to find a light for it. I need to find a light. Is this not the light I can grab? Ah. Didn't expect my response being in the light in the dark place to be yay. Oh, I mean, I just gotta do my best. I just gotta do my best. This seems like a lighter can grab. Meow, 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 meow. Can I not get this light? Car, you have a lot of light, dear. Can I borrow the light, please? It's a staircase. I don't think he can go through here, though. Um... We just gotta find light sources. That we can steal, I guess? 
Maybe just over here? Neighborhood illumination. Oh, this is promising. Down here. Is it lighted by flame or batteries? I don't know. Up, 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 up. We light it. We light it by stealing lights. Shadows. Oh no! Catsy. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Who's it for you? Who's this? Oh, hey. Oh, that's Casey. We met at Door Show. Isn't it? Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. Alex Casey. Looking into a murder. Looking into a murder. Yay. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? No, the manuscript, manuscript? pages are mine. What manuscript? I need to see it. He's like, I need the manuscript Rumor as well. It, the manuscript contained the details of the murder. Oh. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? No, no, Had we're not the leader. Written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Ooh. Or would he be the next victim? Are you the murderer, sir? 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 Oh no, he Stay here. <gasps> no, wait. I need a gun. No chance. He's like, no, 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 you don't need a gun. I do need a gun, sir. I really need one. I also need a flashlight. Monster time, maybe. Bum, 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 bum. I remember dying, dying in this alley. Dying. Oh, he's he dead. He was just gonna keep killing me. He oh God, he's dead. Rip Max even Casey, yeah, not Max playing Casey. You think you know? Alex Casey. You know shit. I, I, that's true. I don't know anything, sir. You're gonna get what's coming. I really don't know anything that's going on. <laughs> also, can I get this flashlight, please? Flashlight! Flashlight! Find the light, let's go! Also, a gun! Okay. We have six this bullets. Was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. We have three batteries. Playing the detective now. We have batteries, we have a revolver, and we have handgun ammo. Let me quick slot this, just in case. But the thing is, if we have a gun, that means someone is going to start chasing down. us. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. I feel like we're going. We should go that way, but this is telling me to go this way. Pablo, hi, hi, welcome, welcome. Oh. Why am I going in here? Why am I going in here? Oh god, the, the arrows were pointing in this direction. Uh... Oh. Oh. Wait. Didn't I just go here? It's a loop! And his body's gone. But it's a loop! Oh, oh, ah. Uh. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, the rest of the shadows block my way. Oh no! Yeah, we're, we're, we're battling shadow creatures now. I was like, those ones I should probably destroy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's something. 
There's something. Something else. And there's more. Is there more? There's someone, there's someone, there's someone. There we go. I don't know who you are! The shadows faded out. Is that the janitor? Until they didn't. Is that the janitor, Chad? Trying to stop me. Is there a cute pillow? Yeah, luxury. Hi hi. Hi Nord. Hi hi. And the guy hi. Destroying the darkness node will reveal things. Gotta destroy the darkness. Oh. Use this flashlight sparingly if I can help it, but I like they were literally trying to kill me. <laughs> I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. Yeah, where was the subway entrance? But this way? Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Oh. Yeah, everyone dropping in. Hi, hi. Welcome to the darkness. There we go. Where's the entrance? I think I'm being chased by shadows. Caldera Station. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. <gasps> flashlight, flashlight batteries. Flashlight batteries. Please carry a portable light with you in the subway. You may not be the only you out there. Pretty ominous. Also, this is a, a giant amount of graffiti. Giant. Oh wait, can I grab a light from here? No, I can light up this, but I don't have a light. Don't look up. There's nothing specific up. Up isn't that scary right here. Up, 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 up. There's something here. <gasps> Healing kit! Let me, let me, let me put that in the quick slot. I'll put it in the left one since I have it. In the left quick slot on Saga. Try to keep it a little bit consistent so I don't mess up my inventory shortcuts. Also, am I not supposed to be in here? Wasn't this where I was supposed to go? Use the light to get inside Caldera Station. Wait, am I not? Is this not Caldera Station? I think I have to like use the light in here, but... I don't have a second... I'm going to have to find a second light. Alan Wake is a very cool game despite <laughs> having a lot of scares. The story is very engaging. Yeah, I like the mystery. Yeah, and in the other light, uh... I can't... I have to have... Oh, there's shadows up here. I think I hear whispers. There's a light over here, but I don't think I can get to this. Oh, <laughs> Whispers. Arrow is pointing this way. You can also do the dodge maneuver. Like, how do I get through here? Also, there's a shadow over there. I needed to find a way around that fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? This is definitely where I want to go. Hmm. saying wake hmm hello shadow shouldn't look at it too closely oh oh what is that that is mysterious. It's glowing. It's glowing when I put my flashlight on it. There was something hidden here. Something I hidden. I would reveal it. Yeah, but what is it? Some coins for the guild. What is it? I use my light bulb. <laughs> also, Vivi does trick or treat. <laughs> Thank you for the coins. Thank you for the trick or treat coins. 
Like, do I need a... Do I need to use the flash? I don't want to use the flashlight battery. Okay, chat. Do I use, like, a flashlight battery on this thing? Do I use a flashlight battery? Yes or no? Because I don't want to waste my flashlight battery currency. <laughs> Is this fine, Alice? Does it? It's so far away, I can't read it. Oh, there it says fine, Alice, underneath. Fine, Alice. Where is Alice, though? I don't think she's in here. I think she's in the real world. Just need to get closer instead. I'll need to get to the other side eventually, but I, I can't go through here. Like, I can't... I'm so confused by this. I need to go around this way to get around. Can I go inside the building? Hmm. Oh, Wake. shadows. Wake. I'm I'm awake. Oh, there's a lot of shadows here. Wake. Oh, no, no, no. no. Some bottomy shadows. Oh, no! Ah! Wake up and you're just calling my last name Alan Wick. Hmm. I lost some health doing that. And I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of batteries. Okay, Chad, you're allowed to give me a hint because I feel like I'm going to run out of batteries. I only have one battery left. Which direction am I supposed to go in to get here? <laughs> I don't I'm scared to lose my batteries. This is the one time you're allowed to help. I don't need the subway station to build it right now. Oh, I can grab it. But how am I supposed to grab the light if I need... Okay, take the light again. Ah, it would be scary. Not all shadows are hostile. Wait, are they not? Oh, scary. What happens if I put it here? Yeah, I don't think it helps me with the situation over there. Oh, but what is this? This is something. You hit the back seat. Can you move to the front? No. <laughs> yes, this is the way. Don't write. I mean, I have to write, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Skimpy! Hey, I happy Halloween! That's the downstairs. Oh, there's a ladder. Ladder! Bum, 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 bum. You're scared of Pillow Chum? Oh! Pillow Chum is fine! There's aggressive shadows. Are you... Are, are you an aggressive shadow? Did I just waste my battery? I think I just wasted my battery. Oh, I'm sorry, shadow. I thought you were going to kill me. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Are these the aggressive shadows? Light room. There we go. There we go. Okay, I wasted one battery. More batteries! Thank you, game, for providing batteries. I need it. <laughs> Did I grab the heal kit? Okay, I have two now. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, a shoebox. Which I don't need because... Why did it give me a shoebox? I like... Do you eventually get so many batteries you need to store them? Because I don't have a lot. Regular shadows will fade pretty quickly even without focus light. Okay, that's good. Are you fading? Fading, sir? Fading? Okay, they're fading. They're fading.
Okay, we go forward. Forward. Forward and onwards. Come. Come. Are you going to be hunting me? Oh. Item. Item. Bullets! Let's go. Oh. And healing kit. Let me... Let me equip the healing kit number two. Quick thought. There we go. Take the lights for the safe room? I don't think I want to do that. That's scary. Are you... Are you mad? Are you mad, sir? Are any of you mad? I was fading away. Oh! Oh, that one was moving! That one was moving rapidly. I don't know. That one's moving a little bit scary. Lost? I am a little bit lost. Is there anything here? Any... Any items for a lost tiger girl? <gasps> yes! Items! Batteries and healing. Yay! Yeah. Is all. Another staircase. I thought I was going downstairs to the car. Oh. Oh no, where am I now? Yeah, we came out of that door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that a climbable ladder? I don't think so. I hope I didn't miss a ladder. <gasps> a box. Box? There's nothing in it! Betrayal! Betrayal! Initiation! Oh, it says initiation here, like the story. So much graffiti? Yeah, there's like graffiti over like graffiti like a thousand times. Oh, wait, is this a car? There's a climbable ladder. Yay! I think we're on the other side of the fence now. Oh, uh, we can grab the light from here. Yeah. Wake me awake. Are you... Are you a friend? Are you a friendly Wake. shadow? Smokey Joe, hi hi. I... I'm a little bit sussy on this shadow. It, it's not disappearing. The shadow isn't disappearing. Sir, 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 you're moving. <laughs> Use ladder first, maybe. Let me go and try the ladder. Look at you, hi, hi. I hope your lunchtime is going well. I want to see if there's a hidden item. Oh, a little lamb. Something over here? Is there an item? It's pointing this way. Why is it... Why is it pointing over here? Oh, um, Bake Thursdays! Thank you for gifting a membership to the community! Thank you, thank you, Bake Thursdays! Sends the love and chat to the turkeys. Oh, not tur tur Thursdays. Turkeys! Bake turkeys! Sends the love and chat to turkeys. <laughs> chat. Oh, there it is! There it is! That, this is why I was pointing here. Healing! Oh, it's providing me a concerning amount of healing... Uh, healing items. <laughs> oh, hold on. Ah, water. Delicious. Come on. Let me go. Is there any items over here? I want to grab before we go... Okay, okay, let me grab the light. Let me grab the light. I feel like things are going to happen when I do. Big Thursdays! I... My brain read differently for a second. Oh! Me. Oh my god, there's so many! Welcome to the guild. Whoa! Oh my god, which one of these are like real shadows that want to kill me? No, 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 no,
up. Go away, sir. It's still there. They're still there. They're still there. They're still there. There we go. I got them. Got them. I got them. Oh, I only have... I only have like 10 bullets left. And my health. My health. Heal. Heal, 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 There we go. And what is this thingy? Aim your flashlight at spi a spiral. I'm aiming my flashlight at the spiral. Oh, there we go. Over oh, over. carry his words. There we go. The words resonated with meeting. Words of gun this? found. Why a rider room? Words of power can be used to make wake stronger. You can assign them in the rider's room. Ah, oh, okay. Words of gun. Oh, provides five percent chance to not consume ammo when fi when firing. Increase knockback of Alan's shotgun. Increase flare gun. You know, let's just do, do this one for now then. And now I have television and radio. Ooh. Goals. Yeah. Words of gun. Yeah, words of gun. You know, they said Alan Wake was a writer. They didn't say it was a good writer. <laughs> They never said he was a good rider. They just said he was a rider. At least that's what I heard in the game. <laughs> and now I put this light here. And then I go and grab the other light. And put the other light down. <laughs> the bird... I don't know if it was he who write the words of Gundo. It might have been someone else. Might have been someone else who wrote that. I thought we put this in here. Yeah, let's go. I did it. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Oh, we have a ticket. Use the ticket to get in now. We just pay the fare here. There we go. Subway pass? Hmm... If the solution isn't gun, use more gun. And also light... Also... Also flashlight. Flashlight and also gun. Oh! This one. <gasps> flashlight! And ammo! The game is telling me to use the flashlight and the gun. <laughs> also, I'll do I go in the door now? There we go. Caldera Station, new Something scene. about the station platform felt significant. Yeah. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. You need more. Something lingered here. A half forgotten memory. We need more. An echo. I wonder if I can grab the light. Oh! I could probably. Yeah, let me grab the light now. Oh. Oh no, it disappears. Okay, never mind. I thought I might be able to grab it, but I think I'm like too far away. Align the echo by Something approaching it. A specific a angle to reveal itself. I needed to look at it from the right angle. From the right angle. Other angle, maybe. Approaching it from a specific angle. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's Alex Casey. He'd gone missing. Presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next. Connecting the dots. Need to draw an obscene picture mm, of the city, city map. map. Caldera Street Station. Mm. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional missing detective. FBI agent. A story thread I could use in my writing. Yeah. Yeah, discovered the first plot element from an echo. You can rewrite it into reality on the plot board. Whoa, we can rewrite it into location. reality? I had a story thread. Hmm. I would put them together. Write them into my Connect story the dots? to create yeah. a path <laughs> deeper into the dark place. Oh, funk. Deskoon, 
just lost like 5 HP, but it's fine. I'm sure you can take it. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Uh, select the FBI agent plot element and activate it with X to rewrite reality into, cal into Caldera Station scene. Okay, I'm pressing... Oh, there we go. There we go! We just rewrote reality. Whoa! The, place. the story rang true. Whoa. I was making progress. I'm making the progress, The reacted to my story. <laughs> the way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. Yeah, that's gun is very strong. Way into the tunnel no longer blocked. Oh! The Fed had glimpsed into the Maw of Darkness. It swallowed him whole. Oh, was he killed? Oh. The tracks led into the tunnel. Bloody tracks. That was my way forward. Okay, we run. We run, chat. Bum, 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 bum. There's even so much graffiti. Oh. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. Shit, friend. Friend or enemy. Friend or enemy. The door to the side. Friend or enemy. I think we go to the side here. Yeah. Oh. It always startles me when you like burst out of the door. Found the coins for the guild. For the coins. Desk Kun says, not enough force. No. I need more. Desk Kun has gotta survive. <laughs> I don't even think you were the coin, sweetie. Oh. Oh, this is starting to look like a little bit like a labyrinth. Arrow this way and then that way. Oh, oh, it's the words. Words of aid. Words of aid. Increase hand flares area of effect. Increase effectiveness of trauma pads. Yeah, yeah, let's go for trauma pads. It seems to be one of the most common healing items. Yeah. Suddenly it's Metro 2023. I mean, at least we're inside whatever this metro station is. Also, there's a room back there. Let me check. This is like a labyrinth. Oh, it's a quick save room. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, there's a very bright room here. Let me grab this. Quick save. Any items? Dark AI. Tree box. We can put some items there, but we we don't need to. Can I steal? I don't think I can steal the light from here. Quick save. Um. Or did have a nice day. I'll see you around. Bye bye. Hmm. You lost her. Creepy. Don't... Don't write. No, we're, we gotta write. We gotta write. <laughs> Alice. I should have been reading more of the graffiti. You know what you alert oh. needs? More cowbells. More cowbells? No. Cowbell no. I mean, you does. Thank you for the coins. Thank you for the coins, sweetie. Initiation. Alice. No, die! Oh god, that was not Alice, that's die. Alice. You die here, lost. Maybe I shouldn't read more Read more of the graffiti. Find Alice. Scratch! Oh no, 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 I should definitely not read more of the graffiti. That's spoopy. Collapse tunnel, new scene. In this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration Find inspiration for the story in the that tun would lead me tunnel. Got a new scene. Go to the plot board to rewrite reality into the collapsed tunnel. I had a new location for the story. Missing agent. There we go. Oh, oh. I changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. Dark place changed. Ooh. Oh, we can look at this again. It's bad luck to be on this case. Bad luck. Cold can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. <gasps> what? 
build like magic. What happened anyway? <laughs> Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. Night shift, please. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're <sighs> next. I heard their leader is this famous writer. No, it's not me. I'm not the cult leader. I promise. Messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Promise it's not me, sir. What would happen if Alan just wrote a happy children's story? I have no idea. <laughs> Plot board? Goals? Hmm. Am I sure? I'm sure I'm not the kill leader. I'm kill, kill leader. I'm sure. I'm sure. Doko... Item... Nice... Item that I can use? Item? I... Item? I don't think there's an item here. <laughs> Are we the cult leader because we wrote the book? I think that's what the game is using for justification. <laughs> Cute leader... Hmm... I, I can I can take the cute leader. Also, let me steal this light. Another echo lingered here. Nice. A source of inspiration. Oh wait, the door closed. Let me see what's in here first. Is there an item in here? Oh, I knew it! I knew it. There had to be an item. No, there's nothing. Cheated. Cheated. Oh wait. <gasps> Pain pills. Okay, okay, we got something. Let me... Let me go and put that in the quick slide. I'll put it in the down slot. Yeah, and serve it! Have a nice drive. I'll see you around. <laughs> there we go. Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do Alex you know? Casey again? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual murder. sacrifices. No, you see the cult <laughs> reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. The Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity, Mr. Scratch. For the story. Murder cult. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. Oh, we have to go to the scene. I see. I see. That's interesting. Oh, can I go out this way? Oh wait, was it not finished? Word is your oh, I guess I gotta watch it to completion, maybe. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about oh. the cult of the word. Or maybe, maybe I can just rewatch it multiple times. Ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. The Wake was even involved somehow under the a false identity. identity, Mr. Scratch, which is of course a nickname for the devil himself. Ooh. It was disturbing finding myself yeah, in we had to story watch it. this way. But I was desperate. And it felt right for the story. Uh, hello, shadows. Hello, shadows. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm just here to go back to the cave. Oh. I thought that shadow from the flashlight was... was, was... Oh! Oh, they were enemies! I was about to say I thought they were enemies for a second and they were enemies! Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Oh, this is. I'm almost dead! I'm, almost, I'm dead! <gasps> Did I die? Oh my god, I think I'm almost dead. Ah! Ouch! Uh, healing! Healing, 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 healing. Please let me heal! I'm just trying to heal, sir! I'm just trying to heal! I'm just trying to heal. They were suspicious shadows. They were suspicious. Oh my! Oh, oh. Is that my first dad? I think that was my first dad. Never turn back on an enemy. <laughs> Writing, and how far back am I? <gasps> we haven't found the tunnel yet. No should you trust the god? Should you trust my god? Yeah. I should have trusted my god. Ba, 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 
At least the now I know. Were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Oh wait, what's this? I don't think I ever went down here. Oh, I need a light. Okay, we go back this way down. Then all the way back here. Another yeah. place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. There we go, missing agent. Inspiration for the story. I changed the story. Dark place changed. Dark place changed. And now we go in here. Now I know when I head back, there's going to be shadows chasing me. Let me go and find. Is this still going to be pain pills? Oh, it's not. I wonder if items are randomized then. Oh, they are! Look, they are bullets! That's actually kind of interesting. The items are slightly randomized. Another echo lingered here. A source of inspiration. Now we gotta get the echo. There we go. Word is what? your research can help me, ma'am. We're learning. You know, We're learning. We're just using it as a learning opportunity. The, <laughs> the murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders yeah. of Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow mm. under a false ah, identity. Water. Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. Spooky. It was disturbing finding myself okay, now. in a story this way. Now we're waiting to see which one of these spawns so I don't get chased story. by two at the same time. You, you're evil. Are you evil? No, we're not evil. It was we're moving very determined. Go away from me, Shadow. I'm scared. I'm scared. Some of these are going to chase me. There we go. Ah! The other Shadow. Oh, the shadow! Ah. <gasps> there he is! There he is! There he is! Bah, 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 bah. No! No! Ah. Reload! Reload! Oh god! Reload! 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 Why are you using such a long time to reload, Alan? <sighs> oh my god! Oh, okay, I got them. I got them. It's all fine. I was safe. <sighs> but the restless shadows would return. We're safer now. <laughs> now I go back to the cave. So some enemies will chase you down. Oh, we already saw this. I guess we're seeing it again. Oh, I do a stretch. No. Anyway, yeah. some fed came looking for the cult. Yeah. It was a trap. A Big backstretch. No. 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 Anyone yeah. who gets involved with the cult, yeah. no. they're next. Yeah. Uh, they're the leaders. Yeah. This famous yeah. writer, Alan yeah. Wake. Yeah. Yeah. The unholy mother. And then let me get a pillow. Sounds like a squish. Squishing, squishing the pillow. Big hug. <laughs> The pillow is so nice and fluffy. So squishy and fluffy. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Oh, 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 That was for courage. <laughs> the, 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 the pillow squish was for, was for courage. <laughs> the plot element I found would drive the story forward. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Murder cult. Ooh. Whoa! I was Whoa! Way deeper into the story. I can Changed. imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts. First, I'd be jealous of a pillow to wear by it. <laughs> the Fuwa Fuwa ghost pillow. Also, I don't like being in the middle of the murder cult. Oh. The cultist laid the Casey novel onto the altar. Altar with, with reverence. reverence. A twisted mm. Bible. I might... There we go. Plot board. Bad luck. Echoes. Draft one. Interesting. Hmm. Where are we going? 
Oh wait, I have a light, I think. I think we can go down in the tunnel over this way. Where there was a missing light. Yeah, yeah, in this door there's a missing light. But, oh, I should probably go back and save. Let me go back and save. Uh, since I learned that I'm vulnerable <laughs> to the shadows. The shadows are scary. Quick save. There we go. Quick save. And then I'll go back. So I don't have to redo that another time. <laughs> Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Cult of the word. There we go. Oh! The water was gone. Water's gone. The way forward was open. Open. The shrine station platform. Does not sound like a cult at all. Keep your subway clean. Yeah, I wish this was cleaner. This is very dirty. <laughs> Locker. Ammo! Let's go. More ammo! Let's go! Humming? Someone was humming. Was it worth the risk to go see who? Is it worth the risk? Oh my god. Hello? Hello? Are you a friend? Oh. Hey, Alan. Who are you? Snuck up on me. Who are you, sir? Wait, is this the sheriff who disappeared? Like, when, when, when we were Saga... This is a flashback, so it would be weird. But wasn't there, like, the sheriff who, like, suddenly poofed... ...and transported away from the... ...from the morgue? This guy kind of reminds me of him. Ah. Huh. What is... what is going on here? Subway, subway map. And then... <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. Crazy wall? I'm just trying to make sense of things. Mm. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. I was at the morgue. Oh, yeah, he was at the was him! It's Sheriff Breaker! Yeah, he just... He just disappeared at the start of the game. I was at the morgue. I was about to give evidence to the FBI. Door transported me here to this dream reality. Why? Question mark. Yeah, why? Hmm. <laughs> th this is interesting. Who? Where? Why? Motive? Why me? <laughs> Facts. Missing time. No memory. Yeah, no memory. Until now. Have I always ended up here? Will I forget when I get out? Abducted, aliens, door, UFOs, philodrons, <laughs> dreams of me but not me or others. I know yet they are different. The red-headed woman. Interesting. Yeah, we're not judging him for his dream board. Like, he has been in this place for a while, maybe. <gasps> Trash can. Trash can? <laughs> Again. Sounds like UFO stuff, maybe. Oh, he has a bedroom. He's been sleeping here. Can you even sleep in this place? That's actually what I'm wondering now. Or do you even want to sleep in this place? Hello, sir. Sorry. Have we met? Have I met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Oh! Tim Breaker. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map. If you want oh, to so he has like met Alan before, but Alan has forgotten. Map, You're making a map. Making a map. Yeah. Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. Mm. I keep ending up in unexpected places. Interesting. I find interesting things like. Oh, I wonder who was the one who called us on the phone. But never the one thing I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Mm. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. need? Interesting, I interesting. The help. This mystery Who's man? This mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. Hmm. Hmm. All I have is a name. A name? Warlandor. Warlandor. Talk show host? Talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy hmm. has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. Oh, he was like literally working. a talk show host. Mr. Door? This guy. Yeah. This is so strange. <laughs> Well, look at the map. Okay, so... Shrine Station. Scene Collapse Tunnel. Oh, these, are these the scenes? 
question mark light shift active also oh, we can see the active light shift light shift inactive that's pretty cool light shift active the one we made to get in here and then question mark question mark abandoned station question mark There's, even the maps doesn't really make sense Ah, <laughs> his little tree. See you around, Tib. Oh, that was a good stash. Give, give me also the painkillers. Yeah, does it need to make sense? I mean, it, I guess it doesn't. We just need to run along and figure out the puzzles. That scared me. That was like really sudden. <laughs> Hello, kitty cats making sound in the background. I appreciate it. <laughs> ah! Ah! You scared me, sir. Why did you scare me? <laughs> ah! Reload. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, get away from me! Get away from me! This is my story, sir! It's my story! It's your, not yours! Why are we reloading this gun for a thousand years? There you go. Oh my god, did I kill him? Did I kill him? That got you? It's good it didn't just get me, Chad. That really got me. That really got me. You wonder if headshots do more damage? Probably. But also... It's hard to do headshots. <laughs> you got scared more scared by me than the actual jump scare? Wow. I, I, I did scream pretty loudly there. I'm not going to lie, that was a pretty loud scream. <laughs> more bullets, thank you. Please breathe and not spam the gun. I will spam the gun if I'm panicking. Yay! Light! I will spam the gun if I want to. <laughs> And then I'll have to deal with the consequences. I think bullets are more effective when aimed at your enemies. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Memory is fading. Hmm. Subway tunnels? Um. Yeah, he just keeps on forgetting. <laughs> The darkness the remains. Site. The murder site. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your fault. Return. Scratch. No. You lost her. No. He wrote the book, but he forgot. He probably. <laughs> it's looking like at least. Okay, yeah, up we go. Oh no. The rail the train. But it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. <gasps> Rewrite the der derail train scene to continue the cult's trail. Hmm. Oh, plot board. Plot board. We're starting to I fill it up. Another compelling location to use. Missing. Oh, we can choose. Agent had come here looking for the cult for trouble. The cult used fire to claim dominion. Fire! Okay, let's do the agent first. The fire sounds pretty scary. My writing was affecting reality. I wonder if that is a permanent decision. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Anyone there? Dead. No. I wonder if that was a permanent decision. I think we can switch, probably. Also, it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like it changed it much. No. I downloaded fire in Spider-Man yesterday, but... It's still scary. Also, can I always go back here? Oh no, I put on the flashlight. Wake. Hello? Sir? Sir? Wake. Do I need to... Do I need to waste my... <gasps> okay. 
Yeah, it was a friend ghost. Where am I? Looking in the map. Oh, we're here now. Hmm. This way? Up here? I'm looking that way. Am I not seeing anything? Strange. By thirty, how am I doing? I'm doing I'm good. Sure the plot board had the pieces I needed. Hmm. Christian is Alan himself insane, or is the world insane? I mean, we're in like the dark place. We're in like a shadow world, so I think the world is pretty crazy. But he's been here for thirteen years, so you know maybe he's turning crazy. I guess murder cult it is. I like how they're literally just calling it a murder cult. The scene and plot beat make sense together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. This is what I was supposed to do with the fire. The cult poured the gas gasoline over, over the train, train car. car. An iron cage. Soon become a coffin. Soon become a coffin. Ah! Knocks. <laughs> Hi. Your friend? You don't look like a friend! Whoa! What was that? What kind of explosion? Whoa, what is that? What is that? Oh my god! I'll try and be a little bit more accurate with my aiming chat. But also, what was that? Heal. I'm gonna use this one as well. There we go. The pain pills for healing. He had some kind of range projectile. That was crazy. Any items in here? Mike, hi, hi, happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Oh, batteries. Nice. There you go. Is not. Oh. There we go. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torch bearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car. Doused it in gasoline and then burned. It turns into a bit of a ghost. Torch bearers. They say the dark smoke from the fire. I don't like. I don't like the fire. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. Hmm. I could use it in one of the scenes I found. Oh wait, this is the triangular things from like the dare cult in the in the real world. The triangular symbol. It's like positioned a little bit different differently. But it's definitely similar. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. Yeah, I probably have to go back. Oh. Okay, can't go in there. No, 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 no. I think we're doing it here. Yeah, plot board. And then we switch it out for... Torch bearers. Whoa. A sick and twisted story. Where's my flashlight? But it worked. Oh, there we go. I was like, what's the my flashlight gone? become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. Oh, now we can go through it. Let's just check if there's anything new in here. They're already dealt with this fire cult and Spider-Man. This is the same. It's same, but different. Can I open this door now? Unless the lock... It was locked from the other side. Yeah, it's like a shortcut door, probably. Also, it was... Ah! What's that sound? Was the saving room close by? Oh, I don't think I can go back anymore. <sighs> this is this is fine. This has been burned bodies. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh my 
my god, what was that? There's a lot of burned bodies. Oh no. <laughs> Big turkeys, welcome back to the guild. Happy Halloween. Oh god, with the crying emojis. That's very fitting. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I'll come back to the guild, sweetie. <laughs> None of this was real. It's not real. It was Welcome it's to It's all guild. real. It's real and not real. Oh my god. The sounds. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> he looked away for a second and the noise got to. Yeah, the noise is scary. Let me go and open this door. I think this is the shortcut door to the other room. It is. Okay. It's open now. Okay, it's open. Ladder. Yeah. Yeah. Anything here? Anything I can grab to help me survive? More bullets, perhaps? Let's see how I... The noise is so scary. They were pretty scary. They were pretty, pretty scary. <laughs> oh, wait. Am I back at the... Oh, what is that? Where am I? Oh, we're in the abandoned station now. Oh, but there's a thingy. Does this count? Am I too far away? Please count. Oh, I think it counts. There we go, there we go. Words of fix! Yeah! Words, words, words. Words of fix. I got it, I got it. Increase maximum health. Increase max amount of health and restores in safe havens. Uh, restore 50% of max health when new word of power is discovered. You know, I think I'll just go with max amount of health. <laughs> Overall health increase. I have to keep working on the story. I have to keep working on the story. Night Springs. Is there items here? Items. Up. Oh. Please don't attack me, sir. I'm just here to find items. I'm just here to find items. Uh, max amount of health is handy. Yeah, it's very handy. I think that's like a natural, like. Oh, that shadow is moving closer to me. Oh, oh. No! Stay away, sir! Stay away! There's so many! Why is there so many? Okay, reload, 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 reload. No, no. Okay, got one. I got one. Hit him! Hit him in the knee. Shoot him in the knee. We don't have an arrow, but for a bullet to the knee has to be painful, right? It has to be painful. No. Ah! He teleported. Right behind us. Oh my god, that was scary. <sighs> Did I save? I saved the last time. I could save. Point of interest cases, track objects. Wait, how far back are we? Oh, we're not too far back. It like did a quick save. Okay, 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 okay. No, then say hi. Hi, hi. Okay, so we're just right here. We're right here. Those people were really mad. I'm scared to go in there. Let me get the, this word of... This word of fix, though. There we go. Should we just ignore them, maybe? I think maybe ignoring them might be good. <laughs> yeah. Old teleports behind you routine. <laughs> Oldest trick in the book. Teleports behind you was scary. Up, 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 up,
up, up, up, up, up, up, up, up, up, up, up. Oh, you can grab the light. We want to. Oh, is this My a safe room? Blocked. I had to find <gasps> a way through. A safe room. The lights would help me. The lights would help. And then bullets. Bullets will also help. <laughs> bullets will also help. Yeah. Let me save again after I got the bullets. Oh. Chad. I think... I have no idea what we're going to get... Ah, uh, should I go for onwards or... Ah, uh, okay, Chad. I think for for today... For today... Also, because I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> ah, the Alan Wake segment is scary. All, all of the game is scary. <laughs> let, let me do a manual save. Oh, all right. There I go. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. It's only been three hours of gameplay. That was because I had to read the lore at the start. I had to, I had to read the lore at the beginning. Silly. It was for chat. The lore reading was for chat. Yes. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be just. What about the 45 minutes of stalling? Like, don't, don't worry about it. It's all fine. It's all fine. <laughs> we got a lot of progress done, though. We, we explored the entire optional area with Saga. We found the stuff there. We found some charms for her. And then we started Alan Wake's story. That, that segment went on for a while. Who's a ghost pillow? You can pretend that you are the ghost pillow if you want to. And that you're my emotional support friend for this horror game. Yeah. I'm hugging the real pillow now. So cute, so cute. You demand one more hour? No, no. We'll play this more. We're, we're, we're definitely going to finish this game for sure. I think next week... Oh my god, I have like so many ongoing... This is what I knew was going to happen, chat. This is what I knew was going to happen in October. <laughs> I knew I was going to end up with like 10 oh, ongoing gameplay There's some guild fans on the floor. <laughs> Can I use them to buy caramel fudge? Shield fans. You were oh. very brave today. Yay. Thanks for the yeah. stream. <laughs> Thank you for the coins. Icky. Thank you so much. Yay. <laughs> the backlog is real. It's like not even the backlog. It's like the ongoing playthrough. How many ongoing game playthroughs do I have right now? It's like 10. It's like... Between 5 and 10, I think. It's like... Boulder Skate... Um... I'm just speedrunning faster now. You, know, you gotta enjoy the games. Uh... Boulder Skate... Lords of the Fallen... Uh... Spider-Man 2... Super Mario Wonder... Alan Wake 2... And then I gotta start... I think we're probably going to be playing... Um... We're going to be playing maybe... Maiden of Black Water for Fatal Frame because there's only I found out there's only two Fatal Frames that are on Steam, so we're going to be playing one of those. Uh, so maybe Maiden of Black Water. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to be playing one of the Fatal Frame games, probably starting next week because that was the membership goal. A uh, Jedi Survivor, cough cough, and also Zelda, cough cough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then some other stuff. I think Starfield. I'm not continuing Starfield. I got kind of um, burnt out on it really quickly. Pikmin is like. I know it's technically not finished, but the game, the game fooled me and thought, made me think it was finished. Yeah. <laughs> Minecraft? Minecraft is never finished. Minecraft is in, is in a forever game. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's like literally never finished. <laughs> Moscow, the Lunar Eclipse is better played than uh, Black, uh, Man of Black Water. Yeah, maybe we will play one of those. One of the ones that are on Steam. <laughs> <laughs> You forgot about Zelda? Yeah, Zelda. We're, we're at the fire temple. I think it's Zelda or like at the fire... Fire temple thingy. <laughs> and I haven't... I haven't progressed the game past that. <laughs> and we're close to the end in Baldur's Gate 3. I could finish it. But I want to do the side stuff also in Baldur's Gate 3. So I think we're not that close to the end. <laughs> Don't make cry fly with Virgil on the hardest difficulty. Oh my wow. That would, that would be hard. Yay. <laughs> As Vandal stream, a Gumball stream, and international karaoke. Yeah, I'll get there's so many streams. <laughs> and then so many collabs. Yeah. 
Wait, Steam is Fatal Frame not on PlayStation? Uh, Fatal Frame, I actually... I actually went into the PlayStation Store and I looked for Fatal Frame and I couldn't find any Fatal Frame games. Uh, so if Fatal Frame is on the PlayStation Store, it's not available in Norway. Because I think there are some games that are in the PlayStation Store that is like not available internationally. And I couldn't find any in it when I checked. Because I was planning on playing on the PlayStation, but it wasn't there. <laughs> Isogashi, yeah, busy. Busy, but it's so much fun playing games experience together. So it's like a... It's like a good problem to have, but at the same time a bad problem to have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw the new speedrun for Baldur's Gate 3? All acts and bosses is 30 minutes? Well, that's crazy. 30 minutes. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you hate regional releases? Yeah, I, I'm not the biggest fan of regional releases, but it is a thing. It is a thing. <laughs> Also, I hope I hope you like the ghost pillow today. I really like I really like the ghost pillow. It's adorable. Uh, I like we're, we're like messing around with like some Halloween assets before the before the collab yesterday, and I was like I was like wait wait I remember I got some Halloween items like two months ago or something. I think I got this pillow like I bought it as a as an asset and i was like wait i've had it and i haven't been using it and it's like perfect for the for the alan wake game and probably for when we're playing fatal frame so when i when i'm playing the scary game i'll bring out the ghost pillow <laughs> the ghost pillow looks sad as well oh, he just startled he just he, he just got jump scared yeah so that that's why he looks like startled he's not sad he's just he's just uh a happy little startled pillow yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're adorable. I have long fingers. I kind of no. These are just with my hands, Chad. Don't worry about it. It's just my hands. <laughs> he can't breathe because I'm squeezing him so hard. No, he he's squishable. He's a ghost. He doesn't he doesn't need to breathe because he's a ghost pillow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, what are we doing tomorrow? Sometimes I forget what I put on my schedule. Oh wait, I, didn't, I don't even need to look at my schedule. It's Wednesday, we're doing fighting games tomorrow. <gasps> we're playing... We're playing Guilty Gear Strive tomorrow. Yeah! I'll be practicing a little bit with Biken. I haven't played Guilty Gear in like... Th is it three weeks now? So I gotta like de-rust my, my fighting game skills. And then, then we'll play Beer Battles together. <laughs> And also, Aniko! Uh, oh yeah, it's my birthday day. I want to thank you for making this last year better. <gasps> thank you for the super chat! Also, happy birthday, Aniko! O tanjobi omedeto! Happy, happy birthday. And happy Halloween! Mm. I, I always think it's like... Interesting... When people are bo born on holidays. When people have birthdays on holidays, I was like, how... How is it growing up? How is it growing up having a birthday on a holiday? Like if your if your birthday is like New Year's Eve, uh, Christmas, like those, those like uh, those uh, holidays that are like on set dates of the year, that that's gotta be interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Also, let me put the put the plushie down. <laughs> there you go. I put the plushie down. Yeah. Mm. Water. Your birthday always falls on Mother's Day. It's not fun. Oh God, gotta celebrate, <laughs> celebrating your mom on your birthday. <laughs> maybe, maybe your mom thinks it's funny though, even if you don't. <laughs> maybe a little bit. Maybe a little, little, little bit. <laughs> Let me find out who we're rating today, chat. Though. Let me find out who we're rating. Bum 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 bum. Hmm. Oh, do you guys want to see more scary games, chat? Kilia is playing Darkest Dungeon for Halloween. <laughs> so let's uh, let's raid Kilia. It's been a little while since we raided uh, the Happy Not Orca. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hum, hum. yeah. <laughs> For you, it's more festive than it normally is uh, because you get to uh, enjoy Halloween candy on the birthday as well. Nice, nice. <laughs> hum, hum. But, but, chat, 
I hope you have a really nice day. <laughs> I hope you have a really nice, amazing day or night or evening or lunchtime or workday. Whatever you're doing, I just hope you're having a good time. <laughs> I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow as always. I love you guys so freaking much. Drop some love, drop some bye bye in chat. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tora tora. Bye bye. And then, and then chat. An extra. <laughs> See you tomorrow, everyone. Bye-bye.